If we spirits have offended, <laughs> think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear, and these weakened idle scenes no more yielding, but a dream. And you stretch, and you wake up, and you're a little sore, and... You remember clearly still the vision you had as you came through the portal into the Feywild. Mm -hmm. And you remember, oh god, that dreadful paranoia nightmare. Oh, that's still the, more at the forefront of your mind than any of the events with that worm. Or, oh, it's even starting to fade now. The, was it a town and the feast at the mayor? That was kind of, that was a neat dream. And you w open your eyes and stretch and look around, and you're all just kind of piled together with that wizard you were escorting through the demon's dungeon? Or was it a changeling? Kind of, it's all kind of muddled. You went through a portal, and you had a weird, you had a bunch of weird, long dreams. And that's where we pick up today. on a cold marble floor. No portal in sight. All tangled together. What would you like to do? Look around. Hm. Well, you're in a pretty well-lit, all marble entryway. Uh, no portal or door in sight, but there are some tall, stained glass murals depicting, uh, one depicting a very well-dressed brown hair in a clean blue suit, another depicting a bounty of bluebells and carrot tops, and, uh, watercress, uh, framing a third, much larger, grander, uh, just kind of abstract, floral, stained glass window. And that all the light, sunlight streaming through that is uh, framing you and your companions. And the white marble is clean, and there's a stairway directly across from the windows leading up with several doors landing on top of it. I'm going to feel and admire the nice, beautiful marble floors. They're cool to the touch, Ooh. although slightly sun-warmed in some of the places where the light is uh, warmer in tone and has clearly been shining longer based on the slant of the light. You're a ranger, so you can kind of tell pretty easily. I'm not going to even make you roll for that, mm. how the light has been going. It's about midday. Okay. Yeah, I just really like the craftsman work on the, the marble floor. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. This is a rich people house. This is a mansion. You are in a huge mansion. That's the other thing. Like, if this were a sto if these were stones cut for you, uh, they'd be smaller. Even if it were a grand entryway, they'd be smaller. These stones are cut for something bigger than you. Mm -hmm. Um... I think for some reason I'm in my fall form now. Mm -hmm. Have this dream, wake up from this dream, I'm in autumn. Yeah, that makes sense. If that's okay with you. Yeah, you had a very, it was a very long dream. You had, you all have had a long rest. If you, if you need to mark that down on your feet in some way. Waking up from this dream does count as a long rest. But mm. you are still paranoid one level of exhaustion. No. Because of the curse. One D&D exhaustion? One D&D exhaustion. Yay! Sure. You have the exact same exhaustion effect you had before, but you can have all your hit points all your spells back. Yay. I'll take two levels of that. Can we hear anything? If I want to... You can roll a perception check. <laughs> um, Twelve. There's a faint 
sound of some like party music, like some nice harpsichord party music. Mm. And some vague kitchen sounds coming from behind the stairs. Nothing alarming. It sounds like you're in a house. Did you all uh, think something maybe different happened when we went through the portal? Weren't we by a lake with a some kind of dog made out of water or something? I write my notebook. Yeah, I remember that. And then I write, uh, where's Diz? Diz is there. Oh. Tangled up. Waking oh. up slower than the rest of you. Do we remember that he turned into disaster? Yes. You you remember that there was a reveal, but not a, not the Archfey reveal. That has not happened. Oh, I'm gonna go stand by. You remember Diz. the Changeling reveal? I'm just gonna kind of stand stand by Diz and look look down at them. Oh yeah, me too. I'm gonna walk over and start poking him. Oh oh my, this is this is not where I meant for us to end up. I'm sorry, you guys. It's okay, buddy. I'm I'm terribly sorry. And like in 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 a puff of greenish smoke, there's another reveal. Standing before you is about eight feet tall, clad in a green cloak, mane of red hair out to about here. Um, does anybody have anything or any powers that would allow them to sense an archfey? Um, to sense one? Probably not, but I'm, I'm giving you the opportunity because there was already an archfey reveal. I'm giving you an opportunity to metagame just um, a yeah, just, just arcana. Just strong arcana. I have a fey lost background. Um. Read me the text on that one. Your mannerisms and knowledge of the fey customs are recognized by natives of the fey while who see you as one of their own. Because of this, friendly fey creatures are inclined to come to your aid if you are lost or need help in the fey wild. You would definitely have a sense that this is a slightly more powerful fey than they have been letting on. Oh, okay. Just, and probably so would you. Diz, uh, you seem mighty different. <laughs> you're talking different, you're uh, much taller. Well, you see, it's just, it's a whole thing, and I'm not supposed to be here. The lady of the house is going to be really mad if she sees me, so I'm going to go. I'm going to have my people call your people in a couple days, make sure you're okay. The name's Artigan. Let me know. Bye! Artigan. Um... And he vanishes. I'm going to talk to the uh, dude in my ring of mind shielding. Mm -hmm. So the soul of the original wizard is in the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, did you take thoughts? So did you know that uh, Diz was uh, actually uh, an eight foot tall person with giant red hair named Artigan? I knew that there was something of the Fae about them. And that they were lying to me. But they were always quite helpful. Our, our goals aligned. Now remind me again, what were Diz's... What were Diz's feelings about being trapped in the ring, other than, of course, being mad about being dead? So he hired us to protect him. Mm -hmm. Kind of your... Stereotypical wizard type. Mm -hmm. He got himself really hurt by some demon juice, and uh, we, he took a, we, we took him back to his portal, and then he went in there, and we didn't see him for a while. But it turns out he died in there, mm -hmm. got and his soul went into my ring, and then he got replaced by the by his apprentice, who was a little bandaged up dude, uh, who you know revealed that they were changeling, and uh, yeah, so. Last I spoke to him, to the wizard in the ring, he said that he wanted me to eventually, you know, 
make a simulacrum for his soul to come out of and go into. Um, but otherwise, he didn't offer much guidance. Yeah, all he wanted us to do was just bring this to the Feywilds. We don't, we don't really know why. He hired us to protect him. Yeah. To go into the Betrayer's Rise. But we don't know what he was studying or what he was looking for. So I'll ask him, you know, it appears we're in the Feywild now and Diz is transformed into Artigan. Do you still want me to turn you into a, learn how to cast Simulacrum so I can put you in a, in a body or do you have any guidance for us? We're in a, uh, a truly massive mansion. I can't continue my research very well, can I, without a body? <laughs> All right, calm down there. I mean, you try reading any books, hunting down scrolls without hands. I can't even cast. Oh, I'm okay, baby. I mean, try it. Swap with me. Oh, no, no, no. I like my body. But, uh... You just agree. You just agree. And we can swap right now, just for a few minutes. No, no, I'll do a little research into your your big red guy. Then you hang out in here, get a little rest. That's okay. Listen, uh, I promise to devote myself to finding you a body, but I'll not switch places with you. Not Just right for now. a few minutes? No, no. How oh, much you ever seen Black so Mirror? It's so boring in here. <laughs> I know, I know. It sounds terrible. I don't want to experience it myself, but I... I mean, I have two choices, Desander. I can take off the ring... And throw it down a drain pipe, and no one will ever see it again. Or I can devote my life to uh, finding you a body. But the body you find will not be mine. It's choice A or choice B. Or you would give the ring to Mears, and he'll protect it. <laughs> I, I touch the ring and make it invisible. And then I go like this, so you don't know where the figures are. I'm like, Mears, calm down now. <laughs> You can just feel wizardly sulking as you're doing that. (laughs) Don't worry, Desander. I'm an excellent wizard, too. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Wizardly sulking increases. So I guess you're not going to offer us any guidance, are you? Ask him about the photo. Yeah, Desander, there was a little photo of a drow under the floorboards in your uh, in your home there. Uh, little photo next to a bag with 50 gold and there was a note that said lost. Something like that. Uh, that's personal. Mm. Well, all right then. If, there, if there's any little baby drow that needs our help, no. uh, that you want me to help, just let me know. To leave. To leave? To leave, is what it said. Ah, it said to leave on the note, Desander. I said it's personal. Well, all right then. If you want us to visit anyone or help anyone, you just let me know. Otherwise, I'll be looking for a body for you. <laughs> but not mine. If you see him, they'll give him the ring. Not because I want to talk to him. Wizardly okay. something increases once more. Desander, I always took you for a much more mature person than this. Right? Yeah, I write my notebook and I show you guys. Desander's really sassy. Sassy! Uh, I go like this and make it so mirrors can't hear my thoughts. Mm-hmm. And then I undo it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, big giant open entryway room Mm -hmm. with big tiles. Are the doorways, like, huge? Yeah, and so are the stairs. Can I check the the door? Is it open? Which one? Uh, the left one. At the top of the stairs? There's three doors. Uh, Where, is there any doors near where we are? Uh, there's one behind the staircase. Okay, I want to go check. Okay, yeah, it's open. It's unlocked. Is okay. there a front door? No. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I'll take a little peek inside. I'll follow him. Look over his shoulder, not go in. Uh, it's a brightly lit kitchen. Ooh. As soon as the door starts to open, you hear a very loud, like, clattering. Like, several dropped, like, pans, bowls. Do you continue to open the door? Yeah. Uh, inside, you see, like, several large, quaking flower people. Whoa. In a kitchen. Whoa, flower people. Yeah. What do you do? I look at you. Do you go in the door? Go through? I'm going to think at you. Let's not go in there. And hope that you hear it. They're like the size of of a Christmas tree. Oh. And larger. Do they see? Do they notice us? Yes, they've noticed. They are cowering. Ooh. Okay, I'll slowly shut the door. I'll I'll tell Hugh about it. <laughs> One of them was made looked like a very large uh, hyacinth. You know, large clusters of beautiful petals on uh, a very graceful bundle of vine-like stalks. Another was a group of roses clustered together to make one more individual. Mm. And another was a cluster of daisies to make a third. Wow. Hard to figure out like where, what parts were heads or hands, but... There were definitely three unique individuals in that kitchen, cowering. Ooh. And I write in my notebook and show you guys. Flower people. Hey, uh, there's giant flower people in that uh, kitchen. Apparently scared of us. You think they had the same dream? Might be. They wouldn't like fire in a town. Yeah. No. We did set a lot of trees on fire, too. Those tree things trying to grab us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was fun. You've got to do what you got to do. Uh, what should we call you right now? Um, yeah, Tenny's going to do a, a shift. She's, Tenny. Tenny's been in changeling mode. Tenny Crux. Mm-hmm. But actually is going to change into uh, what just looks like a kind of regal looking brunette. Um woman and say and then put on her uh, she has like a shawl and a dress that Tendi's been carrying around so now she's going to be a lady and you're like you can call me Tabitha now I remember I remember that do I remember that? I think I do well Tabitha there's a room full of uh, <laughs> giant tree people floor flower people that are cowering, cowering flowers Talk to them? Calm them down? I don't know. I think they were scared of us. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Do they need pew? I can also talk to them, probably. Maybe. I'll uh, watch from the hallway. Okay. As you go into the kitchen and bravely talk to a bunch of flowers. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they seem scared, right? Like, why are they gonna... Hmm. I mean, we can move around other places, I guess, if they don't seem like they're going to go anywhere, but they noticed us. I'm just a little... This house is amazing. And I'm pretty sure it's filled with some shiny things in here. <laughs> some pretty cool shiny things. They're probably not in the kitchen, except for the knives and such. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We can explore, but if they already saw you guys, then might, might as well... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll stay in the hallway. And just watch. Do I need to... Uh, with, would we know what these flower creatures were? Uh, you could roll a nature arcana or uh, just a general intelligence check to see if you know anything. I will help. About the inhabitants of the Feywild. Anybody already from the thing wild would have uh, a lower DC. Well, I get a. This would just be an independent roll. roll, not a group skill check. My roll was terrible. Uh, sixteen total. Okay. 
Well, I got an 11, so. I have a zero on any of those, so I don't think I should roll. Um, anybody is welcome to roll, oh, and I'll tell you all dirty that you know. 20. I just rolled a dirty 20. Okay. For um, either nature or arcana. Anybody who thinks their character would be trying to think what they know about this is welcome to roll. Okay. So even see. if they don't think they would. Okay, so uh, you know that there are lots of different types of creatures in the Feywild because the Feywild just has stuff. Anything can be a creature mm. in the Feywild. Um, and lots of different types of plants or people. You know that that's especially true of flowers. Mm. And that flower people are especially prone to being like servants mm. and also to being very emotional. Uh. <laughs> like blown about in the wind emotional. Mm. Got it. Like afraid of every noise one second but easily comforted the next. Okay. I think I should talk to him. I telepathically say, I'll go with you. We'll just hang out with with Aoife. Yeah, we'll be I'll dig out in the hallway, ready to sweep in if anything bad happens. I'll dig a ration out of my pack and just chow down on some food. Okay, I want to try... Watching it. I would go to that door and try to gingerly open it in case there were pots and pans on the back of it. Go real slow. Yeah. Why don't you make uh, just a dexterity check? Just to see how gently you open it. Terrible. Excuse me. Um, it's a nine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Trying. We were just trying to see if you, like, accidentally slammed it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> were you, in fact, a 12-year-old boy about it? <laughs> just not trying not to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I just want to wave my hands gently, <laughs> trying try to be calming, be like, if I'm, if I'm under your hands, I'm just mimicking you. Yeah, hello, hello. And I'm going to try just talking common and see, like, it's okay. Do you guys speak common? <laughs> um, in Sylvan, you hear something. Do, you, do either of you speak Sylvan? I do. Uh, you're, you hear... Murder you. Murderers. And then, Chad, I tell you telepathically, they're asking it for murderers. No. <laughs> no. Not murderers. I can use, um, I can choose one or more creatures I can see. And do, I can use, I have psychic whispers, so I can telepathically communicate with anything that can speak a language. I speak, I speak Sylvan too, so maybe I can hear it from the hallway. From you absolutely can just hear it from the hallway. Nice. Just barely. It's like every other syllable. I'll inch closer. I <laughs> hear better. How do you say no in Sylvan? And then I tell you, I guess whatever it would be. Uh, yeah. Spiggle the wheels. Spiggle and then they, they, they swarm out and are like, Your guests? Were you invited? Are you the lady's special guest? Maybe. Maybe. We've, we arrived. Can somebody tell them that we've arrived here? I'll, I'll tell them in Sylvan. Oh, yes, we're, we're the lady's special guests. Absolutely. Roll deception. <laughs> All three of you. I just nice. think we arrived. I've got a great deception. Bad one. Ooh. One plus one. Nineteen. Twenty-seven. <laughs> you don't look like him. He hasn't... He was supposed to arrive twelve days past. Did he send you? Oh, yes, yes. He sent us, yes. 
Well, then you should go up to the middle room. Of course. I, at this point, I'm going to sort of go into the kitchen. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. It's a kitchen. There's a there's a pot uh, on the stove that has pretty... It, it smells of stew, but a little bit burnt. Um, and it looks like the dishes that got washed have been washed and washed and washed. Like they've just been doing tasks on repeat. Mm. And hiding in the kitchen. Mm. Are there any, uh, like, silverwares or, like, ladles or... There's one ladle hanging over the big cauldron over the fire. Ooh. I'm gonna go grab it. <laughs> and look at it. Uh, one of uh, the the daisy rushes you. Would you like some stew? Mm-hmm. You do not hunger? I tap it with my, my talons. Tink, tink, tink. I telepathically talk to it. What metal is this? In Sylvan. It is gold. The lady only uses purest gold. <laughs> and telepathically, I tell you, it's gold. Now, now, feathers. Uh, <laughs> calm down now. <laughs> uh, can I examine the stew? Uh, it is burnt to the bottom of the cauldron. Hmm. Mm. Uh, can I look at them to see if I think they're under any kind of magical effects? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll our pod. Uh, 21. Uh, not any significant magical effects. It's the Feywild. They don't seem to be under any significant duress or magical effects other than, you know cosmetic ones. One of them seems to smell strangely strongly of rose, even for a rose person. Mm. But, like, that could be magic, or that could be uh, the equivalent of Axe Body Spray for a Feywild rose person. (laughs) Or that could be magic Axe Body Spray for a Feywild rose person. But, you know, they don't seem to have any, like, Gesa or anything as far as you can tell without doing a magical examination. Something strange is going on with these people. They've been cooking that stew forever, but uh, they don't seem to be under any mind control or anything. Can you say that out loud in front of them? Mm-hmm. Well, we've just been waiting for the lady's guest. Oh, we're so sorry we're late. For 12 here, days. Here we are. You might want to restart that stew. She won't let us. She says we must wait, as is, on hold. How long, and now I am telepathically communicating in language we both understand um, with the highest sense. Mm-hmm. Say, how long have you worked for the lady? Oh, since about 12 moons after I sprouted. Yes. Oh. It's been about three seasons now. And do, do you like it here? Oh, she's lovely. Only the best fertilizer for us ladies. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and she waters us daily. A nice dunking. And w- when, when's the last time you had a guest? <coughs> oh, he comes. He comes every season. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The ambassador, you see. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, and does she throw him a party every time, or? Every time. This one's special. She tried to, uh, oh, how did she, how did she put it? Honor their unique culture. Mm. That's why we're all hiding in here. Why? Over at that court, you can't, oh. It's frightening. Haven't you ever been? I don't know where I've been. None of you have ever been to the Unseelie Court then? No, we've heard about it. It's a frightening place. You don't want to go. No. No, it's terrifying. I mean, I've never been. I wouldn't go. What have you heard? What what do they do? 
Oh, they're all into like sacrifice and terror. Oh my! It's all blood and guts. Oh no! I hope that's not why we were invited here. I mean, well, we're not in the unseemly court. No, but if it's a guest and they're honoring their culture. The lady, she said something lovely. Oh. But to honor his culture, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know. She just had us make the stew and stay in here. Mm. Well, that's good. The stew, there's no sacrifice in there. I would never. Well. It's just a wholesome vegan dish. That's nice. What's in it? Well, I took some carrots and I roasted them with a slow-cooked maple glaze. Oh. That's the lady's favorite, the carrots with the maple glaze. And then I took some lemongrass straws and I wove them around a fake ham. Yes, a fake ham, because it's vegan. The fake ham is made of pressed lentils. Mm. And I roasted that separately so you can get the slow cooked flavors. I smoked it too. And I took some yams, different than sweet potatoes. And I stewed it all together. Of course, with some separate carrots, some smaller baby carrots, so that they don't cook as long, you know, so we get some nice crunch. That sounds exquisite. But it's been burnt because the lady won't let me restart it. Mm. Can you imagine? Can't. All my labor to nothing because he's late. Mm. While they're talking, I take that golden ladle sneakily and slide it into my pocket. Um, I'm going to need you to roll a stealth check because there are three flowers in there. No, probably no. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, I don't silvery barbs you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 22. Okay. Silvery barbs, let me make you feel. <laughs> to have you try it. You are lovely. I don't think I caught your name, dear. Oh, Tabitha. Tabitha, you can call me Hila. I see you do Hila. it. Hila, that's frowning. beautiful. Mm-hmm. I see you do it. Like... And this is D and Raisa, oh. pointing at the daisy and the rose, respectively. I Tabitha. Oh, yeah, Tabitha. Before you go upstairs, yes. uh, do you, do any of you need anything? I have a stew, obviously, I can't offer, but I can offer you something to drink. I can make some tea. Oh. Oh, do, do you have any magical short swords? Uh, I do believe uh, all of the armors were sent home for the visit, but uh, perhaps if you come back in a week or two... I could maybe arrange for something with the lady's permission. Okay, great. Yeah, I, I do have a plus one short sword, uh, so it's okay. But, uh, you know, just in case you have some kind of crazy short sword. I, I would have to consult the lady before arming anyone. I'm so sorry. That's not my department. Oh, that's fine. Do you have any uh, magical potions or food that affects people in certain ways? I have uh, some tea that's excellent for nausea. And I have uh, some tea that's excellent if you really need a nice nap. Mm. Um, and I have some tea that's great if you're falling asleep and need to stay awake. And I do have some really strong coffee. Uh, mm. do you, could I have the uh, sleepy time tea uh, unbrewed, just the leaves to use on some other day? Of course, and she'll wrap you up a small bundle that'll brew about uh, 12 cups. Oh, nice. thank you. Someone's going to be taking a nap one day, for sure. <laughs> and it is just a mildly enchanted uh, chamomile, pre-sweetened, mm. with a dehydrated honey. It's very good, with mm. just a hint of ginger, so if you're having a hard time sleeping because of a tummy ache, it will also sell out with that. Yes. Could you tell us anything about the lady? Just like likes, dislikes, um, ways to approach, anything. I we don't have a lot of experience with her. She's a bit high, strong, and easy to startle. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
just like gentle voices. Gentle movement. voices and make a little bit of a noise on approach. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, should I uh, go out in the entryway and just shout, we're here, uh, don't be alarmed. Did, did, uh, maybe not shout, but maybe we could... Well, that's that way she hears us from far away. Throat clearing or some... Um, Talk calmly as you go up the stairs, perhaps. Oh, like a little chatter, like approaching yeah. chatter. Yeah. Hmm. It's a good thing I'm not in a different season. <laughs> it gets it in. Oh, oh yeah. the seasonal ones are a tricky sort. <sighs> yes, but you, you must go with your season. Is there must anything you be. guys need? If you, if you're good in here, you're just gonna just stay low, lay low, stay safe? If you could just deal with the little mess in that center room, we would be so much calmer down here. Oh, is there a mess? It's just what the lady set up, oh. but we're not equipped to handle it. Any Anything we should know about it before we... She wouldn't tell us. Oh, okay. Just needs to be handled. But you all look so equipped. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Uh, we're going to be silent for a minute. Okay. And uh, Echo, living room. Okay. And Aaron's been waiting to sneak out of the living room. I'm so sorry I didn't look at that text for a while. It's okay. Echo, living room. Okay. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. She's trapped in there waiting for us to not be making any noise. <laughs> That's the most important thing in the world. It is. Mm. Don't okay. wake the baby. Mm -hmm. So, yes, mess. Mess in the middle room. Yes, just right up the stairs. I'm sure you, what would be in the other two rooms? Oh, one of them's the lady's office and one of them's her study. Oh, what did, what did she like to study? Does she have a official title? or? Like... Oh, she's the ambassador. Oh, she is the ambassador. I yes. Oh, I thought the ambassador was, was visiting her. Or is she expecting the ambassador from Seeley as well? Oh, she's the ambassador of the Seeley court. And she oh, she is the ambassador. And she was expecting the unseely ambassador. The unseely Got it. Do I still or think... should I say the unseemly ambassador? Oh, God. Unseemly, unseemly. You didn't hear me say that. I didn't. Do I still think that my father works at the Seeley court? I forget when I found that out. I do. Okay. You told me that. Oh, well. Nice. I have, uh, I have a desire to talk with this lady who's at the Seeley court. All right. So... All right, so we could, uh... uh... I'll head out, back to you guys. If I were a sneaky person, perhaps I'd, I'd check the two other rooms before I go in the middle room. I sure might. But, uh, if I were a person who just wanted to have a conversation with the lady, why, I'd start talking my way up the stairs. Well, it seems like with a group of us, maybe we could do both of those things. Well, I'm not a sneaky person, so... Uh, you just let me know when you're comfortable with me to uh, talk on the stairs. I think we're, we, we do a little uh, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots up the stairs. And then she'll hear us coming. So we'll throat clearing. So that's what you're doing? You comfortable? Everyone? Moving up? Yeah. I mean, fill them in on... The, here's the layer. Did you miss what's happening in the kitchen? I basically just... Mimicked everything that the the flower people just said to her, like, word, word for a word. Beautiful language. A lot of lot of sprinkles, sprinkles, and sprinkle dunks. Yes, uh, I wonder if this was my native language. I don't know. So, I didn't catch most of that. So one of the things too, just if it comes up, technically the people have uh, highest well, in the night. Oh no, he was, sorry, Hila and Hila. I um, can be in telepathic communication for five hours nice. and within a mile of each other. Fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. You did that to the flower lady? Yeah, that's how I was talking to them. Uh. I don't speak this language, but we were speaking telepathically. la de da Which is very fun. Very fun. Okay. So, 
we're all on the same page. So I might actually, sorry, mm -hmm. Red kind of to let her know that, to be like, if you need anything, you can actually just think to me. That's so fancy. <laughs> it's like the Root Network when I was growing up. <gasps> oh, I would love to be part of the Root Network. I guess we kind of are now. We are. Root Sisters. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Tabitha, always making <laughs> friends with everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want me to talk on the stairs, do you? Yes, we should all chat. We I'm going to go through. up to the stairs and start talking. Yeah. Oh, I love flowers. Oh, we're going up. It's so nice to be here. Look at this beautiful place. I love roses, and I love uh, hyacinths. Then, yeah, as we go up, I Chrysanthemums. Think if you're going to talk and go up, I'm going to try to um, split off to whichever one... I guess I'll try the yeah. the right, thinking it's maybe the study. Yeah, I'll stick with Tabitha. I'll just so walk up the stairs. You're going to go on the right? Yes. We're going to keep... And I'm going to walk sl slowly up the stairs towards the center door, going, I love uh, hyacinths and chrysanthemums and uh, uh, roses and uh, blue bonnets and bluebells and... Carrots. She loves carrots. Geraniums. Ah, yes, crispy carrots and lentil pressed ham. Delicious <laughs> food that I love to eat. Does and anybody go to the door on the left? No? Uh, Nobody has to. No, no, no. We'll leave it. That's next. Yeah. I'll try the right. I'll try the okay. So, two people to the door on the right, everyone else to the center door. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're, we will resolve the door on the right first. Um. So you open the door on the right, mm -hmm. and you are faced with what looks like a fairly modern security room. Mm. It is full of monitors depicting every inch of the mansion, including ones you haven't yet seen. Mm -hmm. So there's a screen that shows the entryway you woke up in. There are several, uh, several of them from every angle. There are screens showing your companions out in the hallway. There's a screen showing you standing in the doorway. Hmm. Um, several of the screens have really distorted images, like they're being, like, like you're seeing through the eyes of a bee or a fly or a cat or a bird hmm. or a pseudo dragon. Hmm. Um, but it is various viewpoints on the entire mansion, on screens. And as you open the door, a very large brown hare, as in not a rabbit, but a hare, rips around and looks at you with big bloodshot eyes. Hmm. Doesn't say anything, just looks at you in the exact same blue waistcoat from the stained glass window. Mm. Now, before you say anything, did you guys open the doors at the same time? Well, I'm just, I was just standing in front of the, just standing there talking in the hallway. I hadn't opened it yet. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to, you know, give somebody warning of me approaching. Mm -hmm. So, talking in a medium voice and also just following her commands. <laughs> Sorry, is this is this the reception? The reception? The meeting? And who are you? Um, the, the guests, I think. I'm gonna the... sort of peek around from where I am at the middle door, while being like, "Oh, chrysanthemums and uh, wallflowers." For the recep for the ambassador. You're not him. stop uh, I'm gonna before you respond I'm gonna be like wait 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 because I can probably hear that oh she's being quite loud yeah the, like, the kitchen can hear her I say, wait 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 Maria uh, don't tell them your name is Maria Maria oh wait oh no oh no I told them 
Oh well. Well, Maria, don't tell anyone here your names. Maria? Oops, sorry again. I'm Clarissa, by the way. Clarissa? Yes, but that's not my name, you know. Uh, oh, darn, I did it again. Yes, that's my name, Clarissa, yes. And your name is... deception. Maria. A disadvantage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know my name's not Tabitha either, I, right? I remember telling them uh, we can use fake names, and then I changed my I changed my name to Clarissa. Oh, that's good. Yeah, fifteen and a sixteen Ooh. plus one, so sixteen with disadvantage. And what purpose do you have in my home, Maria and Clarissa? Oh, I'm just talking about flowers. <laughs> I did not invite a florist. My understanding is that we were brought here to be guests for an event, a party. Your understanding? So you don't know? I don't. You don't know? Not sure. Well, I was having a party, but my only guest never showed. Oh. How rude. Very rude. How rude! I'm gonna head over there and peek in the room. In the, in the middle room? No, the the hair room. Ah. Do I think the hair is the lady? I mean, she matches the the picture on the wall. The picture, the picture in stained glass. Ah. And she called it her house. And, and she's the, huge. Are the screens magical or technological? Magical. Okay. Well, I'm still amazed. But yeah, I'm just I'm just watching and backing her up. Yeah. And while they're at the door, I'm stealthily backing away. <laughs> Back behind these guys. She's very twitchy. Like she's looking and she's her eyes and her head are twitching to catch every movement. So if you're trying to stealth away at all, you'll have to make a stealth roll. No problem. Uh, 17. Where are you going? You. She caught you. Bad boy. Where are you going? She's talking to you. You. Whisper up. <laughs> oh, that was telepathically. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, uh, I'm telepathic, so if I'm talking to someone, it's usually uh, telepathically. I will, I will catch on to that. Mm. I, will, I will learn to remember. That was my fault. I should have told you before. But she still he saw you walking. He doesn't mm. say much. He can only kind of mm, repeat. Mm, repeat. Repeat. Kenku are so fascinating, and every player comes up with a new and interesting way to work around the <laughs> Kenku curse. Mm. <laughs> he writes. He repeats. He's telepathic. <laughs> I want you both right. Mm-hmm. My dear, I am so appalled that your guest has not arrived. Did you know that the only thread keeping the peace between the Seely and Unseely courts is our tenuous working relationship? I did not know, but I, I empathize. Uh, my lady, uh, do I look familiar to you, by the way? You know, maybe my, uh, my jaw or my uh, eyes or, you know. I look familiar at all. You have an autumnal complexion. Yes. But, uh, you know, it's been known to change my complexion. But, you know, my eyes or my jawline or, you know, the the curve of my ears. Uh, do they remind you of anyone at all? Anyone, you know, you've ever met or something? Are you perhaps of uh, elfin blood? Uh, yes, I'm an Aladrin. Uh, I'm wondering if you've ever seen anyone that looks quite similar to me in one way or another uh, at, during your time at the Sealy Court. Some of my co-workers are of elfin blood, yes? Yes, yes, Eladrin, yes. Are, are you implying that all people of elfin blood look the same? I don't think that, no. I would never. 
No, I'm, I'm not calling you a racist. Uh, I, I'm trying to uh, ascertain if you've seen someone with a, a jawline like mine, or an eye, or a nose like mine. You know, Many so. of my co-workers have had facial work done. I don't know why. They were quite beautiful before. Uh, I'm looking for my parents. Oh, 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 oh! My apologies, my apologies, my apologies! Oh, oh! And she starts, like, tapping her foot and tapping her foot very, very quickly. I would not know. I don't talk to my co-workers. I stay out here. I don't know what they look like. Insight check. I... Insight check, okay? Twenty-four. Uh, she's telling the truth. Okay. She doesn't talk to people. But you see everything, right? So, have you seen someone with uh, who looks like me in any particular way? I've seen the autumnal complexion, yes. Oh. But I don't. The truth. <laughs> you don't know if she's telling the truth right there. But, oh. You, know, you never know. But uh, I'm, uh, Aoife's going to give up at this point. Yeah. From your high insight roll, she doesn't talk to people or go places. She's got some flowers in her kitchen. Mm. Okay. And the social skills of a very scared hare. Yeah. She sees everything, but uh, she clearly doesn't uh, distinguish between Eladrin. I don't so. think she gets out much. She distinguishes between uh, friend and fret. <laughs> Yes. Well, uh, please be at ease, my lady. We're here to uh, help you. Uh, I'm looking for my father, who I believe serves on the Sealy Court. Uh, and otherwise, we have no idea why we're in your house. Well, then how'd you get here? It's not like I have a front door. Well, you see, we came through a portal. A portal? I don't have a portal into my home. Yes, I notice you don't have a door. Uh, is that because you're such a private person? I don't want people in my home. Well, perhaps we can help you while we're here. Let us know what you need and we'll do it. I need the ambassador to the unseemly court. We're supposed to meet? There he is. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the ambassador. Are you sure? He has come to my house once a season for the last hundred years. And if he has transferred into a new body, or... Well, then what's the password? Password. Detect thoughts. One, two, three, four. Yeah. No. Is what was our last password, then? Detect thoughts. Okay. <laughs> Read me the text for Detect Thoughts. First, if I remember correctly, there's a, a they, DC for I First, they hear the surface thoughts, and mm -hmm. then wisdom save to uh, oh, yeah. probe deeper. Yeah, he you initially learn the surface thoughts of, of the creature. Right? He does that. So the surface yeah. thoughts can be pretty entertaining. What is most on its mind in that moment? As yeah. action, you can either shift your attention to another creature's thoughts or attempt to probe deeper into the same creature's mind. If you probe deeper, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. So, so there, her, her surface thoughts are worry about her dear friend and co-worker, uh, the ambassador to the Unseelie Court, who is very late, has not been late once in a hundred years of working together. She, sat, she spent days setting up a feast and a party for this person. They are friends, and she is worried. Okay, I'm looking for that password, so I'm gonna go a little Probe bit deeper. deeper. So, uh, if it was in 15. Shit, I should be Scottish. Uh, the password <laughs> was conniption. Okay. Oh. The original two sections. Password is conniption. Conniption. So, roll. Roll <laughs> as I said, uh, you know, he's in a different form right now, but it's him, of course. Both of you roll deception. Oh, yeah. Can I help with that or no? 
Yeah, you did help. Please. So, uh, do you want to give advantage, or do you want to join the group roll? Give me advantage. Advantage uh, to one of them. Okay. Or do you want I've to just join I've got plus one, the and he's probably got plus zero. Um, I've got plus eight for a deception. Yeah, I mean, whatever you if want to you do. If you join it, the DC will be higher. Okay, advantage, go. Yeah! Dirty 20. Yes. My gavel paid off. Uh, 14. 14 and 20. So, your absence for the last 12 days was due to your soul transference, was it? Yeah, it came with a lot of weird dreams. And what did we discuss at our last council? I don't remember what was dream and what wasn't, so you're going to have to kind of give me a little bit more. Uh, may I tell the flowers to restart the stool, since he's here? Yes, please. I can tell. Tell him. <laughs> I haven't eaten since uh, I was getting ready for your visit, Ambassador. Yeah, I don't think I've eaten since the last time I've eaten, so I'm pretty hungry, too. The stew I, will be delicious. I wave my hand in my one hand and I snap and I make a pile of good berries. Oh. I love these. These are good. Oh, yes. You oh, should thank eat you. something. Oh, you delicious. Must thank you. I'll take one. Oh, thank you. In 12 days, I'm starved. Mm. Yes. A treat. Thank you. Well, now that you're here, Ambassador, I suppose we should all uh, adjourn into the... Uh, Delightful party I've set up for you in the next room. After you. And, uh... I want to try to peek in to see if there's any magic objects of interest. And I'll just start ritual casting to take magic for whatever... In this room? In the study or in the party room? I mean, it's going to take ten minutes to cast it. So well, there's no time. We're all being rushed into the party room. Yeah, yeah so I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm peeking into the room, and I'm starting muttering the ritual, which is going to take ten minutes to cast. You have to be seated and still to cast the ritual spell. Okay. So I'll peek into the room and then head out. Do I see anything that looks like an interesting magical object? I mean, each and every single one of the screens is a magical object. Okay. You can tell from, like, the... But anything, like, portable. No. Okay. Um, and before we get into the room, I'll need the uh, the map. And uh, real quick, I should get the map first. Get the map first. All right. Uh, everybody. Uh... Always, it's always battle time somewhere. Would you like anything? Beverage, snack, Wi-Fi password. I would love the Wi-Fi password. Okay, the the Wi-Fi network is the one that sort of looks like it says ATT fucks <laughs> with a PH. And uh, the password is uh, Hummingbird Owl. Uh, no caps, all caps, no some caps. Caps to the band. Caps are annoying. Inconvenient, to be sure. And I'm yet? all about the caps. Oh. Uh, I know a guy who cleans off his battle maps. But it's not me, and that's fine, actually. I can work with uh, most of that. Good, because I don't want to get the window cleaner thing. Right? <laughs> uh, well, can you pass me the metal one? The... No, no, square. Either. Yeah, thanks. All right. Okay. Ready for battle. Or whatever. All right. Let's Are you ready for your birthday present? <gasps> oh my god. You yeah. have to open them. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Wow. Oh, and there's there's a dry erase marker in the tube. 
uh, for drawing things. I'm uh, I'm a little I'm scared. What's gonna be in here? Thank you. It around. Sort of a mimic present kind of thing. Uh, here, we'll start this way and then we'll go back through. Oh my gosh. Look at Cake. It's a big ass cake. And then we'll we'll pop out of it. Inside of my present is a present, yes? Yes! <laughs> It is a present. Two presents. Yes. Present, did I did I accidentally take the wrapping off of this present? Nope. Okay. Two presents. Gifties. Teeth. Teeth. Oh. Okay. I forgot to give this back there. Oh, should I polymorph myself into a dinosaur, or one of you into a dinosaur? Me, 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 me. Oh yeah, you want to be? Yeah, I can finally be big. Um, should I put on battle music? Yes. Actually, you should put on birthday party music. Birthday <laughs> party music. Okay. This is my favorite oh, wait, birthday song. What happened? Here, you guys. Oh, you don't want the... I mean, I do, but you can get that. Shake! Shake! Is that the back wall? Yeah. And this is our opening? Yep, our door. that's the door. Opened inward. And that's the room. And then I suppose I'll also need some kind of mini for uh, the hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, do you want to use the elephant? Sure, why not? It's I, right here. I might have something hairy. Oh, she didn't have my. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you had a herring gun? I have a herring gun mini, but I don't have yeah. I don't have I don't have a hair or a rabbit. It is she would be uh, a size large okay. creature. Okay. Should, should she be scary looking? No. So wait, what's happening? We're we going have gone to into a the party. center room. Ooh. You're going to a wonderful birthday party. It's a party. That's got to be Bo. <laughs> That's Aoife. And what's the bird's name again? Petunia. 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 You want to use this acid troll? Sure. <laughs> She's a hair. We swear. Mm -hmm. Do you have my rogi? Oh, oh yeah. Uh huh. Excuse me. Sorry. And she pulled that out. Yeah. Oh, I know where it is. Please. Stop. You all open the door, you look into the room, and you see what must have once been a sumptuously laid out feast. There is a beautiful cake, now looking a little bit stale, it's been there for 12 days. Uh, on one side of the table uh, is a feast that has been clearly eaten by two chained mimics. Their chains have been broken. They are free in the room. Um, but the cake itself has not been eaten. Um, and the other half of the feast is only starting to, uh, mostly stale, hasn't really been eaten. Um, and of course, most importantly, are two mimics in the corner of the room. The decor of the room matches much of the rest of the castle. 
And at the back, there is one large stained window, stained glass window, depicting a beautiful pastoral meadow. Mm -hmm. And on the table is a cake big enough that nearly any of you could stand on it. And are we in the room? Is that like the hallway into the room? Are we are we using those lines over there? Uh, this is the door entry. Yeah, the lines uh, sticking out of the room don't exist, but you are all still currently in the hallway. Okay. And it is time to roll initiative. Because you all looked in the door and saw some mimics. Um, do they look any more powerful than normal mimics to me? They are huge. Uh huh. So that might indicate to me that they're more powerful than a normal mimic. Mm -hmm. They're definitely at least beefier than a mimic of a smaller size would be. Just on virtue of being bigger. Uh, 21 for me. 21. Twenty. So date. Ten. I'm gonna hop on my magic carpet. Fifteen. Ten. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, actually twelve. Slightly better. What's our order in the front of the door? Uh. Who was who was first going in? The uh, ambassador was being herded towards the door in front of everyone else, but other than that, it's up to you. Well, I think I should be next to the ambassador, just does, for appearances. Does the hair appear think, uh, dangerous now that we're inside? Does she appear less friendly? She definitely doesn't appear hostile. But she did set all this up and is letting you all go in first. So is she is she coming in with us? Yep. So, she so let's get that initiative order again because I messed up and did not write anything down because I was pulling things up right now. Mine's so, eight. I got I heard a tw over twenty. Twenty one. Twenty one. Who else 20. got a high one? Nineteen. Twenty. No. Twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen. 12. 12. And then, uh... Eight? Was that yours, Jake? Yeah, eight. Sucks. Time to die. <laughs> okay. And then, time Wait for a hole in my dice bag. I guess I'll find out, because I'm laughing. It's an old dice bag, we'll live. Okay, let's go. Hair. They're gonna get you. Cool birthday cake. Yeah. Thank you. So cool. Um, and the mimics. Ooh. Not nat 20. Not a nat 20. Maybe a 1? No. Who put me right next to the mimic? I did. <laughs> All you right. want me to put you over there instead? <laughs> I just figured you'd be good at stabbing them from over there. Maybe, but, but I guess you like pew pews better. I like pew pews. All right, so starting with mirrors, you're up. Okay, uh, what are these things doing? Are they moving? Uh, they are so far just kind of posing menacingly in the party pile. Do they look like those Mario things that are attached to a chain? That oh, yeah, the chain chomps. Burst off the chain and then... They definitely look like chain chomps that have already burst off the chain and had a little bit of a rampage <laughs> and gone back to their corner. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Uh, for now, I'm going to... Uh, move and then dash over it behind here. Okay. And I'm going to hold my action uh, and dodge if I need to. Okay. Phew. I can do that, right? Fireball. You, what, what are you, what condition are you waiting to uh, dodge on? 
If I get attacked by these yeah. things. Anything coming your way. Anything. What's the diameter of fireball? Uh, it is 20 feet radius, so it's 40 feet diameter. I have a measury thing if you need it. I, th I think I can center it in such a way that it gets these two and not anybody else. That circle thing that I have would tell you that, yeah. What do you think? I think you should get the circle thing. Okay. Yeah, circle thing. I would also let you uh, hold that action until uh, people had moved just enough. He's not an action holder. No. <laughs> just saying. He just does his thing. Yeah. You could. I live for the fireball. Bing, bang, bang. <laughs> you could yell a warning and then give everybody a turn, give everybody just Timmy, enough chance to move. Timmy Crux is going to try to talk to the mimics. It's true. Uh, <laughs> I would really? love to have a talker. He's going to try to hide, but this dude's just going to crush everybody. <laughs> and I probably would too. But I am curious. See I'm what, curious. see what, where, where it like, plays out. So. Fireball is a is a twenty foot radius, so it's basically the size of the circle. So you could hit those two if the center was right there. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be getting the cake and stuff, but that's You're okay. Scorch the cake. So I'm gonna just move right here and then. Does the cake look twelve days old? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that's okay. Dry aged cake. <laughs> you know, some of my favorite cookies last 12 days. I just I just bought 16 of those thick mints. Nice. Dude, she told me that two people came, two different sets of people came by and said, <laughs> Jake Gallagher told me to buy thick mints <laughs> from you. Yeah, you're not out town. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows you're the cookie guy. Fireball. Okay, and that is a uh, 16. 16. DC 16. Dex, I believe. Sixteen, jeez. I think you got you got a five wisdom. If your wisdom is plus five, then it's sixteen at level five. I don't. Could be mistaken. Uh, I missed it. Are we protecting the? Do you have a twenty wisdom? Nobody I don't remember. Yet. Oh. I don't think so. That's why I didn't. We don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. But he's blowing up the mimics before she starts talking to him. I'm sorry. That it's okay. It's no, it is the yeah, I did. yeah. So then your DC is 16. If your wisdom is 20, then your DC is 16. Yeah, it's a good DC. Okay, and so one of them uh, takes half damage. One of them makes it. I restrain myself from casting silvery barbs mm. to make the other one fail because I <laughs> don't know exactly what's going on yet. I think it's six. Of course, summer evil would j would not. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> die, die, Autumn Eva is the most boring Eva. <laughs> She's just a normal person. Summer is not the time of year for restraint. She <laughs> believes in healing. Autumn is the time of year to make amends. She's right. A men's making Gifa. <laughs> it's the time to become a better person. Start thinking about your New Year's resolutions. Yeah, you weren't here for the first 15, DM that had the manticore that got foiled. 25. Nope. Yeah. 33. I was in auto mode that. 33? Is that full damage. Nice. Okay. 33. That's good. It's out of 48. The average is 24, so that's a well above average roll. Dang. That's just statistics over here. I played too much DD, what do you want? Okay, okay. Those mimics get burned. What happens to the rapid? Sorry, paper? Tabitha. <laughs> Alright, and then it's going to be uh, the green mimic. Uh, and Hugh, can you point yourself out for me? So, Hugh, what if those were gifts for the Unseelie Ambassador that he might want mimics to take home with him? Okay, Then they'll be a little toasty. <laughs> Where did it go? I had a little Yeah, you thing. know, they can always heal them later. You probably left it at work. What are you looking for? I had a little thing. I had... May I provide an object that is similar in use? There it is. Ah, uh, here you go. It would be similar in use, but it wouldn't be quite as aesthetically fitting. Yay! Something. And this is you, Hugh? It's me. Oh, a tentacle. 
Oh, worse than a tentacle. All right, so it's going to spit acid 15 feet at you. Spoink. I dodge. You dodge, do you? <laughs> do you? Do you? Okay. Is that, a, is that a deck save dodge? <laughs> yeah, it is a deck save dodge. <laughs> you try to dodge, but will you succeed? I don't have full plate. You think we got that half plate? Your armor class is I'm 19. 20. Jesus. Yeah. I got a shield. Dang. Shields. A good yeah. shield. You never play anything with armor class. I never did. Plays a barbarian with like a 13 or I something? I got nothing. I just oh, yeah. made a druid with a 19 armor class. So unfortunately, it does hit you, but it doesn't actually do any damage. It just smacks your armor and growls. But uh, it sees you've got a buddy sitting standing next to you and tries the same thing. Does a 15 hit the buddy next to you? I can't see the mini enough, and I don't. That's know. gonna it's be the Bo. barbarian. Bo, does a 15 hit? Nope. Nope. Got an 18 AC. Oh shit. Oh, AC, huh? Whoa, the barbarian has an 18 AC? Holy yeah. shit! Well, but tanks in the front in a combat situation? What kind what? of super strats have you all figured out? What the well, heck? Aoife has a tendency to tank even though she can't take it. Oh. I love that about her though. <laughs> yeah. And uh, with the Acid Mimic's turn up, uh, that's Tabitha's turn. Okay, so Tabitha just wants to do a quick, like, personality check on how's the hair doing? Like, does the hair look surprised? Does the hair look scared? Does the hair, how's our lady hair doing? I mean, she looks like she's, why don't you roll an insight check? Thank you. I want to go, like, reaction. was she expecting this? Oh, that should be pretty good. Insight. That is a 26. Oh, yeah, she looks, and she, she looks... A little skittish, like she's nervous about the mimics, but not surprised skittish. Okay. Like, she looks the way somebody who has invited a tiger into their house would look to see that the tiger is now into the, in their house. Okay. Why did somebody put a tiger in their house? I don't know. Why you don't know. Maybe even she doesn't know, but she did know there was a tiger in her house. Okay. And she's not surprised to see that the tiger is in her house and has eaten the food on the table in the room where the tiger was. Oh, I'm guessing. All right. But my sense is that, um, or tell me, I'm trying to get a sense, like, did she lead us in here to be tiger food, or are we just like, oh, the tiger's loose. <laughs> That's sort of... The tiger is for the ambassador. Okay. The tiger is wrapped up like a present. 
Okay. The tiger's got a bow around its neck with a little tag that says for the ambassador. For you. Basically. Okay. Yeah. With okay. a 26, you can tell that this is like all for the ambassador. Yes. What is it? To but kill it was like a gift exchange. Yes. Like she was like, I got you some mimics. I got you That's some mimics. Sense. It's a fun party. It's, this is, as far as you can tell, this was supposed to be fun and enriching for the unseely board ambassador. Got it. Okay. I got you some mimics to fight. But they were on chains. Yes. Originally. Yes. Um, yeah. And I guess maybe that's too much information for one. Did I just yeah. want to get rid of shit field? Should we feel bad we're destroying her mimics? Uh, to be like, oh, no. All right. Well, then. Um, I'm going to say... Oh. It looks like they were set up to fight. Oh. Okay. You can get that much. Each Ooh. other, maybe. or to For the ambassador to fight. Oh, okay. Like, it looks like she's getting ready to watch a fight. Got it. The fact that they were already attacked seems fine by her. Okay, great. Okay. Then That's I'll... an easy enough read. Got it. Okay. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, mm -hmm. fight, fight. That's the vibe. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, in that case, then I'm just gonna say, um, Ambassador, stand back. There seem to be minutes on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna shoot pew. my pew pew pews at the one. Let's go for the green one that just uh, spit at my friends. Yep. So I'm gonna shoot my psychic blades. My psychic blade. Pew pew. Does a 21 hit? It sure does. Pew pew! And that is, I always forget how much I roll. I think it's a d6 versus my psychic blade. 1d6 plus my modifier. Ooh, it's a 6 plus. Hold on. Ability modifier 6 plus 4. That's 10. 10 damage. Psychic damage. Um, and then I'm going to do my second pew, because I got, d mm. no, I'm not. I'm going to do my one pew, and then I'm going to use my, uh, little cunning action to go, I want to go behind the little blockade right there. Pew, pew, pew. I'm going to, yeah, like go behind there, kind of where mirrors, yeah. On the hide. table? I'm going to hide. Hide! Yeah. So you pewed and then you bonus action hit? Pewed and bonus action. Hide. Nice, nice. Did you did you hit? I did. For ten psychic damage. Damn. Nice. And um I mean I don't think I can. No, that is a bonus action. So no, that's it. I'm done. Okay. And that's gonna lead us to the lady hair's turn. And she's gonna use all of her uh Movement and a bonus action dash to get around the table to her throne as far as she can. This one? Yeah, oh. just put her on the big throne. She's gonna spend the whole fight there. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Even if, like, per D D mechanics, it would take her more than that turn to get there. She's like, she well, she's got, uh, you know, like, Leporine bouncy bounce or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like, soup. We're not gonna worry about it. She's not gonna fight. Yeah. Oh well, oh, I won't we'll kill her. That. That's a bad place to be on my next fireball. <laughs> she Just doesn't kidding. know that. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, she doesn't know that. This is my rune. That's I'm, her too. I'm gonna yell out to y'all. Remember, she's from the Sealy Court. Those are the good guys, I think. Because <laughs> I don't have any memory of being here. So. Um, and that'll be her turn, bringing us to Bo. Okay. Um, I'll start by uh, telling Lady Hair. Uh, oh, you really shouldn't have. I don't remember much, but I do remember that I love these things. And then I'm going to go run up. Uh, I'm going to rage, and then I'm going to go run up and hit one. This one or the other one? Yeah, that one. The closest one. Get grainy. <laughs> Cool, cool, and cool. I'm gonna do the attacks recklessly. Yeah. That's uh. 
fucking so long, I don't remember the math. It's just hit, bro. That's a 20? Yeah. <laughs> Should have hit. Does a 20 hit? hit the that green? 20 absolutely hits. Okay. And then I have. That is an 8 plus 4, I think. Yeah, 4. For 12. 12 damage to the green one? Mm hmm. And that's a, that's a nat 20. To hit? Yeah. Yeah, that will, that will hit. Mm -hmm. Shockingly. Mimics have such a super duper high armor class, nearly impossible to hit a huge mimic. And then I have a uh, 14, no, it's 12 again. 15, uh, 15 to hit. That'll hit? Sorry, not 15 to 15 hit. 15 damage? Was, yes, that's what I meant. And that's my turn. And that green one is looking mighty rough. It's looking pretty shredded. Oh, really? Yeah. Mighty rough and pretty shredded, you said. I, that is what I said. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. Sounds like I'm going to save turning myself into a T-Rex. Aw, oh, man. I know, right? Yeah. You can't just uh, do it just to do it, though. Yeah. That'll bring us to your turn. Okay. I'm going to do my... Uh, I'm gonna do my old favorite trick, uh, which, um, let's see, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna cast a cloud of daggers on the space behind the green mimic, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna try to bonus action telekinetic push it into it, mm -hmm. so that it can take damage on this turn, and then again at the start of its turn. Okay. Cause I'm so crafty. And if it doesn't work, it won't take any damage. Uh, so there's a cloud of daggers behind it. Uh, it needs to make a strength save. DC 15 strength save. Uh, that is saves. Uh, I will cast Silvery Barbs as my reaction. And Silvery Barbs does what barbs. again? I uh, have to re-roll and take the lower of the two. Uh, that fails. Yay! So, it gets pushed into it. Um, do I want to have made that a level three cloud of daggers? Eh, no. Uh, just level two. I'll be, I'll be, I'm going to conserve my resources. I'm going to practice conserving my resources. So, when it gets pushed onto the cloud of daggers, it will take 4d4... Uh, piercing damage. Uh -huh. And then at the start of its turn, it'll take 44. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 uh, piercing damage. Uh, do you want to tell me how it looks as the cloud of dam uh, daggers takes this thing out? The, uh, the daggers spin and spin in a rising cyclone, the blades towards the middle, slashing the wrapping paper off of the mimic and revealing inside this purple pulsating thing with these green bubbles. And as it gets slashed, all this acid starts spewing up in the air and uh, it soon collapses into uh, just a puddle of green ooze and purple flesh but the cloud of daggers continues spinning Spin. over it so that i can suck someone else into it on a later turn and that's yours <laughs> yeah. oh thank you Bam. i didn't just have you unwrap something for a birthday present that i was going to take back at the end of the night well that's very kind i will uh use it for other uh times for more monstrous presents thank you uh, and that's, I can't, yeah, I can't, so the only other thing I can do is movement. Oh, uh, I have my owl, so, uh. You do receive a, uh, quite vigorous round of applause from the lady hair up on high uh -huh. as you make a, uh, mimic smoothie. Uh, so I'll just position myself behind Tinny Crux. I'm not going to hide, uh, because I can't. And then the owl will <sighs> if I go take the help action I'll be stuck over there 
the owl is just gonna go over here by Hugh and be like ten feet in the air, up, 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 and uh, pass. So that brings us to the big boy mimic. Big boy. Who's uh? Hmm. A big boy mimic's gonna scooch over so that it doesn't have to roll through the cloud of daggers in order to uh, roll up a little bit and lash out at Bo. Just scooching over. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. It wants and to hit Bo. Is it uh, going to get up on Bo? Yeah, there's perfect. Because now it can take uh, both of its multi attacks and its bite attack against Bo. Oh, no. Bo! Bo! I'm raging, so I should be okay. Ish. Bo knows mimics. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. That hits. So that is going to be... Uh, dice pick, dice pick, dice pick. Cough up the right dice. <laughs> uh, it's going to be four. Four damage. And a, now you're stuck to it. Is that bludgeoning or piercing? Bludgeoning. Or, okay. So it's actually only two damage. Uh, it's going to be a nat one, so that sure as hell doesn't hit. And now this is the bite, which also does not hit. But now Whoa. you're grappled. Okay. And that will be the big boy's turn. And bringing us back up to the top at Mir's turn. Oh, right. So, seeing all this from around... Uh, that's a table, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm seeing all this around the table. So I heroically hop up onto the table. Dun, 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 hop over flame. here. I heroically hop up onto the table. And I'm going to take my first shot with my bow. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, 25 to hit. That hits. I mean, just barely, you know, the unarmored Sure. Uh, that is eight piercing and four psychic damage. Eight piercing, four psychic for a total of 12. Then I'll take my second shot. Oh, 25 again. Nice. Same roll. Oh, six, uh, nine piercing and three psychic. For a total of 12. Mm -hmm. And then I, uh, I'll finish my action by hopping down next to uh, Tabitha. Okay. And that's it. And that brings us to Hugh. Guiding Bolt, first level. Kill. Oops. Ha! Ooh. Nat 20. Nat 20. How do you do uh, nat 20s damage wise? Uh, you can either uh, roll double the die or double the damage shown on the die. Your choice. 28 points of damage. Ooh. Woo! And whoever hits it next has got advantage. Nice. Kill mimics. Okay, if that's your turn, yes. Uh, that brings us to uh, the acid mimic, which goes burble burble in a puddle on the floor, right. and then it's Tabitha's turn. Okay. And then because Tabitha can't resist, that she sees that. The hair is digging this. She's going to do some extra flair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she leaps up from her hiding place and does like cartwheel across the table. 
Okay, I need you to roll a di- uh, an acrobatics check. <laughs> That is a 19. Nice. <laughs> All right. If you want to roll a performance check just to see how much flair it adds, uh, I won't, like, penalize you in any way for failures of uh, any sort. Let's try it. Performance. Yeah. Not truly a performer. But that's a 19 as well. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that is, like, on point performance. You do, you, you manage to do, like, a double cartwheel. Yeah, like, you stick the landing. And it just, like, jazz hands. And then oh, yeah. It's shoot incredible. Shoot, shoots out of oh. my hands. And yeah, that your is range be... attacks come out just, like, right as you are at the apex of that second cartwheel. And that's going to be a sneak attack. Well, oh, yeah, because nobody's expecting a cartwheel mm-hmm. to end in an attack. And that's a 25 to Ooh. hit. Oh, that hits. Pew, 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 pew. And then with my sneak attack, let me do this right. It's going to be, um, 10, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, right? Mm-hmm. 46, that's it, right? Or is it 46 on top your of it? Your sneak is 46 flat. Okay, on so top 22, of the, wait, on top of the one damage? You have your hit, plus your mod, and then your 46 sneak attack. Okay, so actually then... I'm going to tell you right now that if you've already rolled 22 damage, Anything else on top of that will not matter. <laughs> because <laughs> as those pupils come out of your hands at the apex of your beautiful double cartwheel, like you weren't even trying to do two cartwheels, yeah. but the power and the momentum of your flare and the beauty of casting as you are coming out of the cartwheel really just knocked that mimic right out. <laughs> Bam. Like the momentum. You didn't know that that could impact your casting, but you might just have to keep trying stuff like that from now on. Yeah. The, that was... <clears throat> like, you might have to go practice acrobatics even more yeah. to empower your spell casting. So because good. that mimic is capital D dead. <laughs> Wow. And the lady hair is giving you a standing ovation. Thank you. Thank you. My lady. And we are out of initiative. I'll pull it Thank you. Thank you. Well done there. Well done. Wow. You know how to throw a party. Well, I guess you must really be the ambassador. And well, you've never brought friends before, so I guess you didn't have any. <laughs> but with friends like these, I suppose. I suppose. I hope that stew's ready. I'm starving. Um, Hila, how's that stew coming on? Well, it's nearly done. Is it? Is it safe up there? Yeah, well, coast is clear, coast is clear. The lady is ready for stew when you are. I'll send the Riza up to clean up any of the mess. Thank you. Is there, is there much mess? Will, will she need anything special? You probably need something like a mop and a bucket that can handle acid. Oh. Lots of sodium bicarbonate. <laughs> I'm definitely walking up to the, the big one to search for... I'll drop concentration things. on cloud of daggers before it cuts anybody. <laughs> Uh, there's about eight feet of ribbon. That's okay. It. That's all it has? Okay, I take the ribbon. I stuff it into my pocket. Is it made out of gold? Yeah, what color? <laughs> uh, it's green ribbon. Ooh, okay. In the pocket. And some shredded wrapping paper. It looks like she just found some mimics and wrapped them in actual wrapping paper with ribbon. Man. And hoped that would work. So, uh, apologies, uh, you know, I'm not uh, actually from the Feywild, so please, uh, can you enlighten me, why were you uh, giving these huge mimics to uh, our friendly ambassador here? Well, I've been doing some research on the customs over at your court, good sir, and uh, I heard that 
this thing called Blood Spore. And pranks were all the rage. So I thought I would combine them with a little prank of my own. How do you think I did? I loved it. Uh, very good. I suppose one of us could have been eaten and killed. Maybe it would be less funny, but uh, overall, great uh, flair. All the books were saying that being eaten and killed is some of the best part of the blood sport. Mm. Well, you've certainly done your research. Oh, I do hope so. I spent hours every day at it. There's one note I'd like to add, though. Um, as much as we like blood sport, we like cows more. So if you could get, like, a cow next time, that would be even better. A cow? Like a minotaur? No, no, no. Like like a dairy cow. From the material plane? Yeah, I love those. Fascinating. There's all kinds. There's, like, Highland. There's... Shh, shh, shh. Oh, he's just kidding. He's the ambassador from the Feywild. He's not interested in cows. I mean, I have. They don't let me have cows, but I'd love to have a cow. They don't let you have pets from the material plane? No. Fascinating. Yes, uh, if you uh, have a cow, uh, uh, we'd be very happy. But I suppose you don't have a cow, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, I could have a cow. I could have a cow any time you'd like. I go to the material plane all the time. Oh. How do, how do you travel back and forth, just out of curiosity? I use plane shift like any reasonable. Mm. Like any reasonable adult. Mm. Do you know that one? Isn't that how you got into my house? Too bad. Teleportation, plane shift. Ish, I guess. But we, we came through like a, a portal. Somebody's. Portal. There are no portals into my house. It must have been a portal into a plane ship. This is my guess. But we were passengers. I was a passenger. I didn't, you know, drive. If you know was it that traveler fool? Oh, I don't know. Who? Was he I told him he was not welcome here. Not after that party. Um, what's he look like? What is he? <sighs> He's got this horrible red hair. With an I, not with a respectable R E. Mm. Unkempt, wild. Mm. Mm. I told him he couldn't come back. He told me he wasn't even trying to be here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Why, yeah, it wasn't. I don't know how to put this. That he wasn't the person. Who brought us here initially, but he might have been the person who got us here. Let me guess. He stank. Of evergreen? Oh, yes. Probably. Yes. Yes. I mean, I was a little, it was a little dreamy when we were waking up. You were waking up? Yeah. I must not have been watching that stream. I was waiting for, my, for the ambassador. And you didn't even look like him, so I wouldn't have noticed when you came anyways. Why did you change bodies anyways? I don't know. Is that how things are done there? Is that how things are done there? I think I probably just woke up in this body. Like, you know, she wakes up with the seasons. And, you know, she, she uh, you know, she can change shape and stuff. And I've, I've seen, you know, we, we all, like, change shape, right? That's a thing. I've never done it. You should oh, try Oh, the it. ambassador's just joking. Don't, don't worry. The ambassador has uh, caught a new sense of humor as he transitioned into his new form. So, uh, tell me how I can find my father. He works for the Sealy Court, and I don't know anything else about him. Well, I suppose if you'd want to find your father, you'd want to go to the Seely Court of Records. What? The Seely Court House of Records. The Scenic Court House of Records, you say? Seely. Oh, Seely Court House of Records. 
So as we take the scenic route to the scenic, scenic courthouse of Reddit. Oh, and where might that be, Lady Hare? Well, if you travel out of my garden, through the hedge maze, mind the thorns, mind you. Um, well, then you'd want to go down the main road and through the city. And, uh, well, then there's the House of Records, which is right there. Quite simple, as long as you don't stray from the path. While they're all talking, I'm, I'm looking around, and I'm definitely looking at this cake. Mm-hmm. So what does it look like? Uh, well, it's a three-tier cake. Uh, the bottom tier. Go ahead and take, out, take apart the mini. Go ahead and pick it up. Take a look. Whoa, what? I'm going to uh, get on my magic carpet. Start hovering. Ooh. Uh, it's a three-tiered cake. It's pretty stale. Been there for about 12 days. Uh, if you flip over the bottoms, you might get a better idea of what each flavor is. Chocolate. <laughs> vanilla. Purple. Yeah. And the top is a tower of uh, what seems to be some kind of bonbon or truffle. Ooh. Okay. And that is to scale compared to your minis. That is exactly how large <laughs> it appears to your minis. Oh, dang. Okay, I want to climb up and grab one of these truffles on top. Mm-hmm. Uh, be careful! Could be anything. Yeah, it feels like it would definitely count as rough terrain if you were trying to deal with it at speed or in combat, but it's just a roleplay moment, so you can take your time with it. Okay, yeah, I just I climb up and, you know, frosting and stuff on my fingers, just kind of wipe it. I just, yeah, I grab one of those things on top. Wait, don't eat it! Check it out first! In telepathic way, Bo, oh, you should try this. <laughs> Wait, uh, don't eat it yet. I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out anything about this truffle thing before I hold it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like use all the reading that I've done about uh, magical things and everything I've read in the library to try to understand if it looks safe. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a uh, whatever kind of uh, knowledge or wisdom based check you think best matches what you, how you are trying to figure it out. You know, arcana, nature, straight wisdom. Well, I would do history or arcana, but if you think I should do nature, I can do that too. Uh, history or arcana makes sense. Yay! Uh, 21. Looks like a pretty straightforward but stale uh, bonbon, maybe a truffle. Uh, which color did you grab? Um, uh, ooh, definitely a pink one. A pink one? Yeah, it looks like it's maybe a strawberry or raspberry, or some kind of Feywild berry flavor. Definitely fruity. Mm. Um, you do know that sometimes food in the Feywild is known for having strange effects, but nothing about your experience in this house has indicated that this would be one of the Feywild foods that traps you here forever or anything. Probably. I, I think you should be careful with that thing. Sorry. And then I'm just going to sit down cross-legged and start ritual casting to take magic. Which will take ten minutes. I'll probably stop casting it before I ever finish casting it, but I'll start. Mm-hmm. But I'll sit on my magic carpet. Okay. Ooh, magic. Yeah. That would still allow you to have movement while you're ritual casting. I will allow for that. Mm. I'll sit on my hovering disc mm-hmm. that is flavored, that is a magic, a flavored magic carpet, and I'll start ritual casting to take magic. Okay. And this this uh, truffle molly is it pretty hard. You said it's pretty stale. Yeah, it's definitely stale, but still, you know, an edible amount of stale. It hasn't molded or anything. Okay. Can I, um, with my uh, my tattoo, mm-hmm. can I draw something on it? Remind me again what your tattoo does? So the Illuminator tattoos, it allows me to write with my finger on any surface. Yeah, you can. Okay, I want to start carving the fire room that I learned onto it. Okay. And that's it. And I'll put it in my body. Okay. And you're not giving one to Bo to eat? No, Aoife said it's not safe. Well, I don't know if it's safe or not, but I wouldn't eat it. Nah, no, I'll save it for later. But I don't say that because I'm virtual casting. Lady Hair Ambassador, I feel awfully rude at this point in our festivities, but I realize I did not get your name. 
Oh, my name. It's Genevieve Harrington. Genevieve Harrington, what a beautiful name. And yours? Oh, Tabitha. My apologies. I got so distracted watching you all handle that lovely fight with the Mimics. It was such a hassle having them imported. Did you know that Mimics are not native to this part of the Feywild? Hmm. I didn't. Yes, and dealing with the Sealy Court import tax on beasts. Oh, it was a paperwork nightmare. I have a question, just because we're a little blurry on our travels. Um, and obviously we were terribly late. Um, is there anybody who would want to prevent you from meeting with the unseely ambassador? I mean... In our court, there are some elements who think that it would be best for us not to maintain relations with the more unsavory elements mm. of the Feywild. But they understand that knowing our enemies can, in fact, be for our betterment. Mm. However, they may think that I've become a little biased, a little chummy. But I don't do friendship, so... Hmm. Hmm. They're just biased themselves, if you know what I mean. Have you ever met people like that? All kinds. All kinds. It's a nightmare, really. If you ever take my word for it, just stay out of politics. You don't have to tell me twice. Keep it up with the uh, accompanying of the ambassador and the slaying of... Blood sports. Mm. And then, tell me in your head, you hear me say, I like the idea of blood sports. It was fun. Maybe check out this unseely court sometime. But I can't help but, um, <laughs> sidebar, I can't help but think that the ambassador is lost somewhere out there for 12 days. Not here. Probably. Hmm. I wouldn't want to be him if you know what I mean. Well, I'll have to come back next year, I guess. Hmm. I mean, it could lead to a problem. Hmm. Is there anything else interesting in this room? Uh, not particularly. So, I mean, there's a well-set-up table. There's the beautiful, uh, window you could look out of. Gold, uh, uh forks and spoons and things? Yes, and it's quite a mess on the table. Mm. How many forks and spoons were exactly... It was clearly set out for more than the two people, although there are only those two chairs. Mm. Mm. Like, place settings for 12. Like, it was like, supposed to be a huge feast. Although there are only two ta two chairs. Very strange. Mm. I'm going to quit casting to take magic. Okay. And uh, I'll ask the lady, um... Uh, what else is happening in general in uh, the world lately here? There have been some disappearances, but you know that in the Feywild, people are always going traveling, disappearing into a thicket of briars, only to come out 50 years later, looking 20 years younger than when they went in, or 70 years older. Someone's always being eaten by a mountain, you know. And just because it's kicked up a bit more doesn't mean I need to get my tail in a twist, you know? Mm -hmm. Ah, so there's some disappearances. And you, you thought maybe, uh... The ambassador was one of them. I wasn't worried. Oh, I never said you were. I just needed to get our meeting out of the way so that I could get my get back to my work. But if you were just doing a little soul transference, I will respect and honor the unique culture and traditions of the Unseelie Court. I appreciate you worrying about me. I never said 
that I was worried. I know what you mean. You weren't worried. She starts stamping her foot again really quickly. <laughs> I needed to get back to the regular routine of my work without being interrupted by the inconvenient schedule of our routine meetings. All right. So how do we get out of here now? Uh, you can exit through my maze. Okay. Please leave. Uh, if you're hungry, Kilo will feed you some stew on your way out. Before we go, uh, do you have anything that uh, might be useful to help us navigate the maze? I do not keep a map of my maze, but uh, on your way out, Hila will give you a map to the uh, Court of Records if you're interested. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, and do you have any, uh, I don't know, magical short swords, for example? Anything that might uh, help us, uh, you know, in the world? Special magical items. I'm sure the ambassador keeps his uh, friends and crew perfectly supplied. Did you have any other gifts for him besides the mimics? Uh, if you would like a slice of cake or some bonbons, please help yourself. I throw one at you. Any I don't uh, official it. business <laughs> requests to take back to the unsealed court? Do you need anything? Or? Uh, we maintain these meetings just to. Uh, Keep relations peaceful and civil. If we were interested in finding out more about these disappearances, uh, who would we ask, do you think? Uh, the Court of Records would have everything you need. Oh, well. That's the place to go. Then. We've got multiple reasons to go there now. Not the least of which is seeing your beautiful garden. Uh, Ms. Harrington. On our way out. Thank Lady, you. Lady Harrington. Mm, Lady... Harrington, thank you so much for your hospitality to the ambassador. I'm his <laughs> wife. This wonderful party. Back to your work. I'm his wife, so we really appreciate it, the two of us. You never told me you were married. Please leave. I didn't know I wasn't married either. <laughs> All right, the well. unseelie court seems like a very stressful place. If you would ever like to leave the unseelie court, Please file for appropriate immigration papers. Okay. Uh, we'll do. I'm going to whisper to Tinny as whispery as I can. Uh, check out that room that's on the right. <laughs> the left room would be the one you didn't check. Yeah, the left. Oh, I can't turn around. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to get Tabitha's uh, attention to it. I'll be like, I think the lady here really likes me. <laughs> And not not to take up any more of your time. Which the door out is where where? Uh, through the kitchen. We'll we'll be on our way. We'll just shut the door behind us and leave you here. Yes, uh, I I'm going to talk about chrysanthemums in the hallway. Great. Yep. I I'll go talk to Hila about the map. Slip out. She follows you and slams the door uh, of her study back oh. into the room with all the screens. Oh. Uh. She, she went into the room with the screens? Yes. Oh, yes, there's screens everywhere. Do I have. Mm. Who's got invisibility? Who's got Not it? me. Hmm. Well. Oh. <laughs> um, we have our is there Is there a uh, space underneath the doors? Uh, there's, there's a small crack under each door. Okay. Uh, after seeing those screens, would I know, uh, when we're in that kind of hallway where the, where the doors are, mm -hmm. would I know kind of where the, the camera is? Yeah. Okay. It, it seems to be perched kind of like above the stairs. Okay. Looking down. Okay. And then, uh, Bo, uh, you hear my voice in your head. Uh, Bo, go stand near that door and act like you're tying your shoe. Okay. And I'm gonna... I go stand near the... I'm gonna angle myself door. in a way where I, I feel like I'm not gonna be seen through that thing. Okay. Bo, roll a performance or deception check. Can I help and you? And roll... You roll a stealth check. No problem. But don't tell me your result yet. Okay. Because the success of Bo's, Bo's check 
may or may not uh, give you the health action. Performance uh, or stealth? Performance or deception. Can I um, can I provide the help action with performance since I'm proficient in it? Uh, if you go over and stand and also Maybe give cover. All right, I'll go over there and like undulate sensuously near him tying his shoe. That's what I do best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you get advantage. All right. Because I'm helping you with my blade singer sensuous. Yeah! That is much better. Hell yeah, dog. Uh, deception or performance? That is a 19. And was that deception or performance? Uh, performance, performance, but it could be either. Okay. Yeah, but I can't assist you with deception, so. Okay, okay. Okay, and so you do get advantage okay. on yourself. Okay, well, I got a 24. Okay. Okay, so I get behind Bo, and I think of the smallest thing that I can, and I wild shape down into a spider. Okay. So, Bo, you're, you see me just suddenly just shrink. This tiny little spider, and I make my way under the door. Okay. It's the closest thing we got. I'm just going to keep undulating sensuously near the door to hopefully distract the hair. In fact, I'll like start like flir- flirting with my husband. <laughs> I'm sure that my sandals don't even have like shoelaces, but I'll still keep trying to pretend like I'm tying them. And and I'll just be like. <laughs> just like loving my husband. So you, you guys keep doing a little a, a little uh-huh. bang. So draw the eyes of the hair off of the camera that in the that goes into the other room. Make it too embarrassing to look at that screen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, so yeah, I make my way under the door. So you're in the door. You're here in the room. Okay. Um, it's it's a study. It's a library. There's there's a desk. There's an inkwell on the desk. There's so many books. Um. There's, uh, you're, you're looking at it from spider perspective, so everything is huge because it is sized to an eight foot tall uh, hair lady, and that's eight foot before you get to like the ear height. Mm. Wow. Eva, there's lots of books in here, really big books. Get me a scroll. <laughs> I don't think I can carry it. It's a piece of paper. <laughs> I'm really small. Um, You're the only person we can count on. Get me a fourth level spell scroll and I'll give you one of my items you want. Ooh. Okay, I'll start um, <laughs> looking around. Uh, how long does this last? Not my ring, though. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can roll an investigation oh, check okay. to see what you find. Yeah, okay, so I can do that for one hour. Okay. Um, what am I rolling? Sorry. Investigation. Investigation. Oh, and I'm going to give myself advantage with my Kenku Recall ability. Oh, Kenku. Such a good species to play. 22. Okay. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of spell scores. Uh, the only spell scroll you find is Plane Shift. Mm. There's like seven of those, though. They're all just like stacked in a little triangle on the desk. Like she's been copying them out. Mm. Um, and they're next to like a list of uh, planes. Like just Astral Plane, mm. Shadow Fell, mm. Material Plane, comma, Exandria. Material plane, comma, weird dragon spine mountain. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna memorize all these things. And then, uh, gears. Gears, okay. That's it, that's the list. Okay. Photographing memory, yay. So yeah, I'll memorize all that stuff. Um, is there anything else in here? Lots of books. Most of them are just like cultural books, history books, um, (coughs) fantasy books. Like, there's an inordinate amount of books about romances between the courts. (laughs) And all of those are really, really tall. Really, really high up. 
And because you're a spider, that's no problem for you to get up there. Right. But you're, like, swinging between shelf after shelf after shelf, and you're like, why are all of these books here? <laughs> I'm not going to ask any more questions. <laughs> why are all of the history books barely worn down, and all of these really, really weathered? <laughs> Anyways, swing it on! <laughs> uh, okay, and nothing else uh, that looks valuable? No. Okay, it's all... In fact, the rest of the mansion had way more stuff of value than this one. Than this room. Oh, okay. Unless you're a nerd. Right. I mean, who isn't, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, I'll make my way back out. Plane shift! Hmm? Get a plane shift scroll! I memorized it. I hope that works. <laughs> I can't carry it, I'm a spider. <laughs> if you do have photographic memory, and you take the time with the quality ingredients, you could rec recreate a plane shift scroll. Even without being a caster. It's all right, I can't... I can't memorize it. But if you wanted to cast it... Well, you said they're just kind of like lying on the, the desk there? Yeah. Could I like, like shoot like a web? Like since I'm a spider, and like can I try to pull it? You could try. You could try. <laughs> Let's see. Let's you see. Good try. That's a if I change back, line. he's gonna see me. Yeah. <laughs> Famous last words. You could always try. You could try. Let's see. I'll uh, undulate more sensuously and actively to uh, distract your attention from the. Before you decide to try. Mm -hmm. In order to pull it out and under the door, you would be rolling strength. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you would be rolling strength against a piece of paper, but you are the size of a spider. Right. And a spider's strength is two. Wow. Okay. And it is a single piece of parchment. Okay, I'll do my best. Okay. For you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're a spider, so I won't make you roll to hit a scroll. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, strength? Mm hmm. Oh, God. Uh, five? Uh, you cannot get it off the table. Mm hmm. That's, you, you, you might, you removed your uh, negative four modifier, correct? From that five or no? I what? Uh, with a strength score of two, you have a negative four modifier for strength. Oh, I did negative two because mine's negative two. So that would have been a uh, three. Uh. <laughs> you cannot get it. You, you move it about this much more off the table. Okay. Well, I do. Have and I will give you one more try. Okay. Have you, been, have you been telling me what you're doing? Do yes. I, do I know what you're doing? Yeah, I've been telling you this whole time. So uh, I told you is 60 feet. Mm -hmm. so Before been... you try again, um, uh, I want to, like, try the door handle of the room behind my back. Because... It's locked. All right. All right. If I could see the spider, then I could do something useful. But I can't. Okay, one more try. Oh, I have an idea. I can. I have, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Um. So I could go talk to the hair woman, look at the screen that shows the room that he's in. Yeah. And then I can see in there. Yeah. And then I could cast vortex warp and warp him out of the room while he's holding the scroll. You sure could. That's genius. I will allow it. Wow. You did not tell me the result of that roll, so you have not yet tried again. Okay. You are attached to the scroll. Go ahead. It's a crazy idea. It's a crazy idea, but I love crazy ideas. Do it. Plan shift scroll is useful. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to um, go talk to the woman. Uh, I'm going to go knock on the door, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I'll say... Oh, uh, is there a restroom in here? I can't find the bathroom. And I'll look and see if I can see the room with the scrolls on the table. Uh, in you one can? of the screens. Okay. And then I'll say, uh, what does she, does she answer my question about the bathroom? Uh, uh, there's a, 
There's a room you can use just through the kitchen. Please leave. Of course. Let me just, uh... Let me just, um... Oh, I, I have to cast this Detect Magic in order to find the magic bathroom. And uh, I'll cast Vortex Warp to uh, try to warp him. Like... If you've ta talked to me, I'll mm -hmm. tell you to wrap yourself around the scroll so that you're holding it, and mm -hmm. then I'll vortex warp you into the hallway. Okay, yeah. I firmly grasp my little spider tendrils into the, the scroll. While they're doing that, I want. Can I go back in the main room, and let's say I like I left my shawl in there, and I'm gonna grab my shawl and try to grab like two handfuls of the of the silverware. <laughs> See, like, oh my gosh! But being really obvious, like I was looking for. Oh, I forgot my shawl. Here we go. Got it stealthily with the thing. But as soon as he walked into the distractor, I, I would go. I've been thinking about that silverware. <laughs> Since we left the room. Uh, go ahead and make a stealth check. Stealth don't fail me now. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Wait, I'm gonna use my luck point to re-roll that. Oh my god, that's worse. I hate everything. I'm using another luck point. I want my silver. Thank you. 24. Okay. I just two luck points. So I'm saying to the hair lady, like, uh, I'm just going to cast Detect Magic as a normal spell instead of a ritual. I don't have 10 minutes. Who has 10 minutes to sit still? And then I cast Vortex Warp. And I'll be like, wait a second. That wasn't, that wasn't Detect Magic. Oh, let me try again. And then I'll just sit down and start ritual casting Detect Magic at her feet. So she'll probably tell me to leave again. <laughs> Uh, does a 13 hit your DC? Of what? My what DC? I mean, your AC, your armor class. Oh, no. no. No? No, no. Uh, she kicked you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she doesn't hit me. Uh, it was, it, in this case, it did hit you, but like, just, she missed, but just like bonked your shoulder a little bit. I can like... Not enough to do damage, but enough <laughs> to get the point across. I can undulate out of the way. Out! I am so sorry. I just, yeah. uh, you know, I have uh, OCD. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, obsessive, compulsive, uh, I forget what the D is. Um, One of those fae who, if you put the rice in front of them, they have to count every three-stand grain. <laughs> yes, uh, you may have heard of it. With the way your eyes work. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I can't control myself. I'll leave right now after I use your restroom, of course. Get out. Wash your hands three times if you must. But get out of my house. Bring your friends. Just get them out of here. Yeah. I am done with people for the month. <laughs> All right. I'll leave, I'll wink, <laughs> wink at the spider on the floor, maybe you turn back into a person eventually. Where did I, where did I warp to? Oh, uh, like <coughs> behind Bo's form. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, having gotten warped back behind Bo, I, I'll turn back into myself. Holding the, the uh, spell scroll. Hey, these don't have laces. Oh, look again. They still don't have laces. Hmm. Well, maybe next time. All right. And I'll slip that spell scroll into my pocket. Q, did you have a nice time at the party? <laughs> <laughs> I got to throw a fireball. Anybody want to get some stew downstairs before we leave? Blech. No, no, that's stew, yeah. No veggie stuff. So, do you all plop, head plop, down plop, to the plop, kitchen? Plop, plop, yes. Yeah, yeah. Plop, 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 plop. Now that Hila know we're coming, so we don't start with Hila, we're coming back downstairs. And you all made it out of the ladies' uh, festivities all right? Oh, yes. Bloodsport and pranks happened, and we're all right. 
Response. And the sound of dreadful the noise, the clatter, the I smell don't... of smoke, we were all petrified. Oh, that is hard. I hope she doesn't throw parties like that too often. Oh, never before. Well, hopefully now that that's out of the way, we can just do something else next year. Maybe. Is that the mom or the kid? Much this calmer. This dude. <laughs> the guy is that, really drunk so for petals. Your other cat's um, son? Right, so well, they're not sorry. related. No, that's what I thought. I heard so, you say. Um, that one's five, and this one's one. Or the lady suggested you might have a map that you could provide us with to the we'll court of lucky, records, the house of records. I can, I can draw you up a map. Great. And she does. She draws you up a pretty simple map. Now, the lady doesn't keep a map of her a uh, hedge maze mm -hmm. uh, because it is always shifting. Mm. And the thorns have been acting up a little bit lately. Uh, and with the gardener having been sent home and we were expecting uh, the ambassador, they might be even more out of hand mm. on your way out. I'm terribly sorry. Any tips, tricks, suggestions? Uh, if you use fire, please try not to let it get too out of hand. Ah. Uh, Please? Cause it'll come this way. Oh yes, no, I'll be terrible. Oh. And then the lady will have to regrow the whole thing again. And after the last time the ambassador was over, I'm sure you remember. Um and that would just be a whole thing. Mm. But also they're pretty uh I mean they're all just hedges. The hedges and thorns, so anything you'd use to like handle your garden, weed your garden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, your usual weeding materials, your toxins. Oh, do you have any magic pruning shears? I mean, the gardener would keep those, and he's been off duty for the last two weeks. Oh, where's his shed? Oh, out in town. He just lives out in town. Oh, he keeps, he his... keeps his materials. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just go to the bathroom. Where is there? There's a bathroom. Oh, it's the uh, it's the outhouse right out that door. Oh. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go outside. There's a lovely little garden with an outhouse just outside the door. Oh, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Gotta oh. use the restroom sometime, you know. Yeah. Right. You gotta keep the realism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all while Hila is talking, she's serving you all up delicious bowls of stew. Mm. Uh, nice hunks of crusty bread and an apple. Mm. Mm. All right, I eat it. Convenient portable containers, even. Oh, nice. Yeah. Beauty. Any bacon? Any bacon? They were making a vegan dish. I'm not going to ask about the bacon. <laughs> I think I saw some bread from that time. <laughs> Pocket full of bread. <laughs> and uh, in the background, Dee is drawing up a map that will take you from the exit of the hedge maze to the court, uh, the Seely Court Hall of Records. Alright. And strangely enough, when the map is handed over, it really is just as straightforward as uh, Lady Harrington implied. It's just a straight line through the woods. <laughs> and in the middle of that straight line, there's a, a little circle with the word town written in it. <laughs> and right on the other end of the town, another smaller circle that says uh, Hall of Records. Hmm. You just have to go through the hedge maze and through the woods and don't stray from the path. It's just the Feywild. How hard can that be? <laughs> Anything interesting about the outhouse? Not particularly. It doesn't smell. It smells floral, a little bit like fertilizer, but not in a bad way. Mm. If you were to look down in it, you'd see a bunch of tiny little pellets. <laughs> little rabbit pellets. 
<laughs> Big rabbit fella. Real big ones actually, yeah. Well, I'll finish using the outhouse, and then I'll go go outside, and I'll look around, look at the hedge maze and anything else that's outside the house. Uh, it's a beautiful little garden, some space to eat outside, uh, and then a fairly ominous uh, arched entrance to a hedge maze. Hmm. Can I ask the ladies, do, do you have any um, utensils, or like a fork I could take for this, from my eating this later, by any chance? Uh, Maybe a cool <laughs> you could absolutely <laughs> spare a couple of our little uh, picnic spoons. Okay. And she hands you a pure gold picnic spoon. Oh, done. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a little smaller than the ones that were on the table, mm-hmm. but it is a pure gold spoon. This is perfect. This is perfect. Thank you. And telepathically, I say, oh, I need one too. She just starts handing you all spoons. Oh. Wonderful. I'm Wonderful. outside, so I don't get a spoon. I don't get one to go for my friend. <laughs> of course, how could I forget? <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Sorry. Go Would you need room. any butter, any jams for your bread? Ooh, I'll take a jams. And jams, you like one of those tiny little uh, jars of jam like from Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. Oh. And a little picnic knife to go with it. Ooh. Also pure gold. Nice. Oh, I love jam. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You all, ladies, have been just too kind. Wonderful. Thank you for everything. Delicious. Amazing. Thank you all for coming. I think you've made the house so much calmer now. Our, 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 our lady will be so much happier now that the, the ambassador has come and gone. And the party is dealt with. Out of curiosity, does the lady have powers over the maze at all, or it just does its own thing? It just does its own thing. Okay. I think she inherited the lands with the maze already present. Mm. And hasn't really been able to, like, move it or shrink it. Well, in that case, we may still be telepathically communicating for several hours, so if I'm within a mile of this place, so just hopefully you don't hear anything too dreadful. <laughs> if, I, if I do, I, I'll let the lady know. Thank you. But, uh... Not the good. thorns are a little out of hand. Okay. And she may need to hire some backup for the gardeners when they come back tomorrow. Yes. We'll try to report from inside so you know what to expect. I appreciate it. Yes. Making my job as housekeeper so much easier. We try. We try. Thank you, Root Sister. Yes. Root Sister. I won't forget. I'll never forget you, Root Sister. <laughs> Uh, while I'm outside, I'm going to send Petunia the cockatiel. Oh, I brought the wrong mini. I need my cockatiel mini, not my uh. owl mini. But it's just an owl-flavored cockatiel. It's a cockatiel-flavored owl. Uh, I'm going to send my cockatiel uh, up in the air, uh, outside of the maze, good far distance away from the maze, go up and look down on it and see what she sees. It's a hedge maze made mostly of uh, rose bushes. Um, you see a couple areas of the maze seem to have something moving along the path. Mm. Uh, but it's kind of hard to see because the maze, like, arches over itself over the path mm. a little bit, keeping it shadowed. Um, go ahead and make a perception check for your familiar. Okay, it being an owl, it will have advantage on... It's a cockatiel right now. It's a cockatiel flavored owl. So, uh, it'll have advantage on perception, and I think it's a plus one or a plus two, so it's 21 or 22. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you see. What you see also doesn't seem to be. The movement doesn't seem to be that different from the rose bushes, so it's really, really, really mm-hmm. hard to make out what it is that's moving. Mm hmm. Um, I will say that having done this, uh, you in particular will get advantage, uh, in our next session on checks to navigate the maze. Yay! Uh, do I see anything that looks like it would be a bad idea to try to scout with Petunia while I'm in the maze? Like, whipping vines or things that might jump out to grab her? 
It would definitely be hard for her to get in and out of the maze at certain points, at the very least. Uh-huh. Like, some of the places where the maze is growing over would be very narrow for a bird to, like, break through. Mm-hmm. But not so much in other places. So, at the very least, if you were careful about when and where you sent her out and had her rejoin you. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, or just kept her out of the maze the whole time. Uh, she would probably be safe enough. But it is the Feywild, and she didn't ever get close enough to trigger any whipping vines that might try to grab her this time. So maybe, maybe not. I'm just going to have her sit on my shoulder for now. My cockatiel-flavored owl. (laughs) A cockatiel-flavored owl on an autumnal shoulder. Yes, as she lands, a a flourish of of, uh, fall leaves twists up from me. Well, uh, shall we uh, enter the hedge maze? Find my father? Let's go through the maze. Solve the disappearances? Can we fly over it? I doubt it. You want to all get on the, uh, on this floating disc and see what it can do? Uh, so the floating disc does not have enough carrying capacity to it, it basically if we're all on the floating disc it'll move at half speed mm-hmm. it's got a flying speed of 60 feet that would be halved to 30 make the carpet mark carpet hover and fly is it big enough to physically hold all of you it's a it's a hovering disc that came up from the ground well, uh, I, it's four foot by six foot. It's four foot by six foot. The capacity is 400 pounds. You can overload it, but it will have this, the, the flying speed. And it's four feet by six feet. So I think... What we, material is it made out of? Well, it's, it's flavored as a, like a metallic disc. Okay. That came from this... Uh, Betrayer's Rise, but it uses the stats of the Magic carpet of flying. Mm-hmm. So if it's four by six, mm-hmm. and there are five of you, I can get on both shoulders. We should all right now hop up and see if we can Measure fit in a four by six square. Yeah. yeah. If we can do it. I think we could. I, I think you could. It would probably be uncomfortable. It'd be like standing. Holding each other, probably, right? Yeah, if you all linked arms and stood, uh, I would, would probably do a uh, deck save every uh, 60 feet to see if anybody falls off as you fly over an entire mile of very dangerous uh, hedge maze. Feet. Yeah. So. And how high is it? Uh, the maze itself. Uh, the hedges only rise about, uh, 45, 50 feet. So, so it would like, take bludgeoning damage. Yeah, just think about how far, how yeah. far you would, fall. You would definitely fall far enough that most of you would take a little bit of bludgeoning damage through thorny hedges. Mm-hmm. We'd want to stay high enough up that it would be a, avoid any whipping vines, so that'd yes. be like 100 feet up. So that'd be 10 d6 bludgeoning damage for falling off of it. So, so you could. I think we should just do the maze, you know. Could be treasure in there. Yeah. There might be a time when it's useful to get on the thing and go up in the Me, air. But yes. Flying a whole mile over it, a hundred feet up, all of us, you know, holding on to each other's arms. It does seem dangerous. But, uh, you know, between uh, Petunia and the disc and everything, I think we have a lot of advantages. What do you think, husband? Are we still lying? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You never know how far the uh, hare's ears can carry. Although I suppose she would have heard that. Fine, you're not my husband. 
too young for me anyway. Divorce in the unseemly court sure is a quick and easy thing, isn't it? Um. Yeah, let's let's do the maze for real. That sounds fun, right? You guys are both from the Feywild, so. Oh, I'm ready for this maze, and it'll bring me to my father. And we might find out about these disappearances that have been happening. We can help people. Who knows? The ambassador might be in there. <laughs> if he had, to, if he had to pass through it to get here, yeah. Could be a dangerous person if fighting mimics was a, a gift for him. Mm-hmm. So I think that sounds like a wonderful place to start up uh, nice. next session. Yep. Right at the entry to a uh, scary hedge maze. Yay! Yay. Check outs, check outs. Check outs, check outs! Uh, who has inspiration right now? I do. I do. Two? Is that enough? Enough inspiration? Uh. Or do you want to vote for one more person to have inspiration? Unless you want to cancel all of our inspiration. Get out of that. I think. I think in the next session, I will start, uh, I, I want to start slowly whittling away those, uh, the extra inspirations, mm-hmm. but for this session, I'll give out two more. I'll give out my inspiration and we'll vote on inspirations. Okay. Ooh. But I want to get to the point where we just have the inspirations from last session. I want to get to a point where we're trying every session to use, use last session. sessions. Got it. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily use it or lose it, but try to. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, so, uh, something you enjoyed about the session, something you enjoyed that another player did, and your inspiration vote. Want to go? Um, I really like this new this mansion that we're in. This is fun. And the kitchen and everything was very visual. Like, yeah, you're really good at, like, describing things, so, um, uh, you definitely painted a word picture. Thank you. Which was nice. Um, the little birthday thing was fun, the mimics were fun, um, favorite thing a character did, oh man, everyone did something fun. I don't know if I can mm-hmm. pick one. Um... I guess maybe you, Vortex, warping me out mm. of the room. That was a good idea. Now we got a planar shift scroll, which I can't learn. Uh, I have a planar shift yeah. scroll. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have it, but I, I didn't ask for it. Mm. I didn't ask for it. I, I let you keep it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but if we need it, we have a way out of the Feywild. We do. Yeah. But I, I couldn't learn it anyway, so I mm. have you keep it. When you're ready, I've got a scroll and I've got it up here. Nice. That's double. We can make a lot of money copying those things. Yeah. Start a store. I like the way uh, Tabitha handled Genevieve throughout this whole thing. You're very, you're very good. Uh, my vote for someone for inspiration, it'll be Tabitha for that. That's all I got. Oh yeah, did you do your vote? Uh, it was you for your planet. Yeah, it was, vortex it was you for your vortex, right? Oh, word. Danke. Um, something I really liked about the session. Uh, yeah, I really liked Tabitha's interactions with uh, the flower people. Uh, but I also really liked that moment where uh, Tabitha was kind of like... Uh, Oh, hey, you, did you like the mansion? And he was just like, I got to fireball. It was awesome. <laughs> that was uh, hilarious. Uh, um, I, I think I'll, I'll also vote for Tabitha, though, just because the, the, just that conversation came so in handy, it feels like. Yeah. 
yeah, talking to the plant for five hours is <laughs> useful. I mean, the telepathic connection oh. would last five hours. <laughs> the five hour connection. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. The, uh, he said the verbal descriptions. I like that I could hear you. Uh, the mm -hmm. last dude was so quiet that sometimes I couldn't even hear what he was saying. Or there's these super long pauses. Mm -hmm. So I love that I can hear you and that you're full of energy, you know. I love the, uh, the storyteller energy. Uh, and um, it was very fun, and you gave me little gifts, and you made handmade, uh, handmade um, minis. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about the hedge maze, you know. Hedge mazes are fun. They're always fun, especially when you die from hedges. <laughs> um, and uh, stuff that another player did. Um, I liked how Bo went with it, with the uh, pretending <laughs> to be the ambassador. And uh, I always love uh, Daniel's little jokes. One of them that he said that kind of flew under the radar was, uh, yeah, I don't think I've eaten since the last time I've eaten. <laughs> Which was pretty funny. That got me. Uh, you already have a point of inspiration, don't you? I know, but I could... I could... You could choose someone else. Claw back one of my left ones or choose it, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think if you win, because I'm about to vote for you. If you win, you should, uh... You should choose somebody else. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna vote for you because, uh... You did a lot of the talking to the people and like figured out a bunch of stuff and I just get to watch. So mm -hmm. that was useful. That was great. What? Well, which is so not normal. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> like which was, I mean, I was saying one of the things was like, this is the first time I've ever been Tabitha and I had mm -hmm. no idea how Tabitha would be, but it makes total sense because that was her, that was Tinny's persona as being like a lady. So mm -hmm. kind of all came out of like, oh, I know how to do this. Of course, um, it's two ladies that are acting. Yeah, we're just doing your page. It's like, I played this role for a very long time. Um, so that was super fun. But to go back, I mean, it's so wonderful to have you. Um, I love the Shakespearean transition into the dream world. And here you are in this place. And, um, and just that ability to shift and kind of pick up what was and go into like, and now it's the Feywild, people! <laughs> so it's something else! And that's really great. Um, and I just love, I love the flower people and what a cool image that was. Um, I could not believe how well some of those roles went for deception. <laughs> uh, oh yeah! <laughs> I was just like, oh no, he said, oh, he's the ambassador. Like, no! <laughs> they were like, oh, her name is Marie. Like, no! <laughs> but he rolled so well. And, like, and even Bo rolled well. It was like, oh my god, I thought we were done. Um, but, uh, <laughs> so good. Um, there's just stuff that everyone did that I love. I love that. Mirrors rolled well to steal the golden ladle, <laughs> like, yeah. and uh, the whole spider vortex rope. So, um, and that you got to do a fireball, and he's like, ask no questions, just like to fireball. <laughs> For I saw mimics. <laughs> so good. They had me doubting uh, myself. I thought maybe I screwed up, but no, it was no, okay. Was you know what to do. <laughs> it was the right thing. It was the right thing, and uh, yeah, and. And um, and the reveals of now that we know, I don't know that I knew, I don't think we knew that you were looking for your parents before. Um, I feel like, and that whole interaction was so funny when you're like, did he see anyone who looks like me? <laughs> like, what does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking What are you trying to say? What are you suggesting? <laughs> it was very good. But the two, uh, for my vote, I would give it to Jake for that vortex for um, brilliance of the tech technical skills of seeing through the camera and bringing the Spider-Man back. Uh, <laughs> and the distracting undulations as well. Yeah, yeah, always. <laughs> all of that. All of that. This is delightful. Always oh, the undulating. Oh, it was great. 
I also really like the stew recipe. Oh I was, my I was, god. Like, I was gonna be like, my character leaves the room. Because <laughs> 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 like, the, the, the lentils and the okay, carrots and all these things. Mm. <laughs> so I think my favorite part, um, absolutely uh, the lies. Mm. Just mm. all the lies. <laughs> I was not expecting. Ah, uh, yes, the barbarian. He's the um, he's the new version. We had a Doctor Who style regeneration of the ambassador that this woman has known for a hundred years. But they weren't friends, so. No, they weren't friends. She she swears. Even though she's reading up his romance yeah. novel. They don't sort of friends. She didn't even like him. Yeah. Yeah. Colleagues. Nothing happening. Nothing happening. Strictly colleagues. <laughs> but like you knew both passwords. Password yeah. one, two, three, four. That was the And idea. conniption. <laughs> yeah. Detect work thoughts yeah. with a conniption. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. came in real clutch. Mm -hmm. and we had no way to get under the door without. We had no way to be yeah, invisible. Yeah. I mean, without all that was ridiculous. Yeah, and I think my real favorite player moment. Oh gosh, there were so many. There were absolutely so many. So I think I think from Tabitha, my favorite player moment had to have been just all of uh, just re reclaiming her ladyship. <laughs> just watching that happen in real time, even though I didn't really get to know Chad. Mm. Chad's a bro. Chad's a um, Chad. And I think watching, um, I'm gonna, I will learn to pronounce her name, and she can fight me on it if she wants, but watching Effie, Aoife, Eve, 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 um, uh, having Eva like, both being an instigator, but, like, not the first instigator. <laughs> Constantly providing the help action to the <laughs> instigation was just really fun. That's not usually, like, the role you see in a D&D &D party. Mm -hmm. There's usually, you know, the person who slaps the button. Mm -hmm. They slap the lava. They push the red button. They, they cause the problems. There's not usually somebody undulating next to the instigator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to help out. Just undulating sensually. It's very distracting how attractive my character is. Yeah. <laughs> Dis helpfully distracting. That's a good thing. Uh, and oh, Ambassador Bo. Every uh, moment. Uh, and Bo Sitter. But especially, oh, are we still lying? <laughs> yeah, that's why I kept shushing him. I felt guilty about shushing him, but I knew he was going to say something wrong on purpose. <laughs> and I need you to know, that was still on camera. Yeah. And by camera, I mean familiar. Because those are screens attached to familiars all throughout the house. Because oh. it's so inconvenient. You know, you're a high-level archfey caster. And you can only see through one familiar at a time? Well, you've been alive for hundreds of years? I mean, just do something about that, right? <laughs> just invent a bunch of magic mirrors that can see through all your familiars' eyes at once. Mm. Wow. And then you can just live in your house and play Five Nights at Freddy's in your house like a scared <laughs> hare. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And Hugh in combat. That was beautiful. He likes his fireballs. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? You've got that area damage. Whether or not it's exactly the wisest choice, it's always going to make for fun roleplay. <laughs> Yeah, you're still like damaged, Tom, from that passage. A little bit. <laughs> Three points. Oh, okay. You're not fine. much. Not much. Two you're points. Fine. Two points. <laughs> I'll wake up with three points of acid damage in the morning, and I'll take a tub, and it'll be fine. <laughs> and now you've got that plane shift. Yep. And you've got that promise that you can trade that plane shift for anything. Yep. And like, you may have been told after the promise was made that it doesn't include the ring. But you've got that plane shift scroll, and huh. you don't have to hand it over till you get what you want. 
Uh, and I that's going to be fun roleplay. I said, if you get me a fourth level spell scroll, I will trade you for anything I have besides the ring. Technically, it is fourth level and higher. He got me a seventh level spell scroll. <laughs> I just I just remember what I said. Yeah. You know, being in Aes Sedai at all. Yeah, and I I see a lot of fun coming out of that uh, that that little uh, interaction there. Mm-hmm. I foresee it. I saw it happen just now. <laughs> And I, for one, can't wait. <laughs> I chose my words carefully. <laughs> I'm going to give my personal inspiration to Bo. Hey. Yay. Yay, Bo. Because I think the ambassador deserves some inspiration to work with. Well said. Alright, so Julie, you got three votes, so you get to choose the other one. Um, does it already have it? Well, then... I mean, I would probably give it to Aoife, just knowing that we're going into a terrifying, magical hedge maze, and you may need to get something right (laughs) for the good of the team. I'll protect you. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Please. And that Vortex Warp did come in clutch. That was amazing. That was incredible. That was, one could even say, inspired. Inspired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were taking me all day Twas. to pull that thing out. Twas inspired. <laughs> and a round of applause for the actors tonight. Yay. 